This is Home Safety Hotline. Okay, so I kind of mailbox. HS Corporate Welcome. All right. From HSF Corporate. Welcome to Home Safety Hotline family. We are pleased to have you aboard our brand new Home Safety Hotline responder. Your supervisor's name is Carol Regina. She will be calling you today to brief you on the duties and will be reviewing your work daily to ensure maximum right, accuracy. Right, right, yeah. right. I think it's pronounced Regina. Right. It's Regina. It's Regina. Okay. <laughs> Not Regina. No. Oh, my name. Hello, <laughs> no. my name is Carol Vagina. Okay, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. There's a show that I watch where they pronounce it just, it's, it's spelled like this, but they pronounce it Regina. So that's why I said that. My last name is, yes, Vagina. <laughs> My gosh. As a reminder, responders with a 90% accuracy rate or more are qualified to receive our daily employee coupons. Work hard and be rewarded with incredible savings. Sincerely, HSF. H. Corporate. Subject line notice. Video files on desktop. Attention to all. Attention to call team. Due to an error with our archival network some of you may notice video files for our video archive appear on your desktops please disregard these these will be cleared up in due time say so okay oh my gosh there's discord on here wait television commercial each year thousand families suffer injuries or even death from common household hazards okay Hazards such as house fires. Okay. Flooding. Okay. Black mold. Okay, yeah. Metamorphous. Don't become a statistic. Call the Home City Hotline and keep your family safe. I... I don't think most people go for metamorphosis. What the fuck was that Trevor Henderson looking ass monster? Save game progress. Oh no, I don't want to do that. You don't want to save game progress? Oh, I can turn it off, but I'm on our. We should probably. I'll probably turn down everything just a bit. There we go. I'm guessing I have to click this to start the game. Monday. I already really like this. Welcome, employee. Begin shift. Please clock in below. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, we got entries. Probably about stuff that we have to get rid of. All right, bed bugs. Yeah, those are bed bugs. Bed bugs are small insects known on for feeding on blood of humans and other mammals, and their tendency is to inhabit sleeping areas of the home. Homeowners infested with bed bugs often report itchiness and sometimes delay onset rashes. Oh shit. as your supervisor during your time here at HSH. Before you begin your first day here, let me tell you a bit about how things work here. You are an HSH responder. As such, it is your job to learn about various household hazards so you can answer the questions of our callers intelligently. When a client calls, answer the call and listen carefully to their concerns. When you've diagnosed their issue, submit the corresponding household hazard and we'll forward them safety instructions to address their problem. Welcome to the HSH family. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Danger. Bed bugs are not known to transmit any, da any dangerous diseases, and our roads will be harmless to humans. However, their presence can often attract other pests. They use them as a food source. Oh, shit. John here. My wife insisted I call this number. It sounds like she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Just looks like coughing to me. I don't know. You tell me, I guess. 
Oh, that's probably black mold. Please hold. Black mold. Black mold is common to have some fungus in those ground moist. One location appears to be frequently. Oh, wait, no. Probably wouldn't be black mold. Hold on. It would probably. Oh, wait. That's probably the only thing it would be. Black mold. Some of you dangerous too bad. It could cause damage to household integrity. No longer dangerous. No, it's because large reacts. Well, houses, black mold, fisted, or, or it must see smell, allergic reactions, or breathing problems. So spe mm. Specs of dirt? That kind of looks like that. In the kitchen. And that, it, depending on where in the kitchen, could like the sink or a dishwasher to have a water area. I just had one of the worst ideas I've ever had in my life. I am going to open Google and type in black mold porn. Oh my gosh, Hatchet. And see what comes up. I used to be afraid of these little shits. Bees. It's mostly just standard porn with a handful of uh, 3D animations using the moldeds from Resident Evil 7. Oh. Hi, I'm so sorry. My name is Grace, and it's probably nothing, but I thought I'd call just in case. Lately, I can't sleep at night because of this annoying little sound coming from my attic. Uh, it sounds kind of like... You know, it's probably nothing. I'm sure it could just be regular old house noises, but I just thought I'd call to ask and make sure. Is there bats? Put on hold. Please hold. Let's see. Let's see if we have bats. Be bed bugs, bees, black mold, carpet ants, cockroaches, gopher, house fly, house spider, mice, mole. Raccoon, termites, and ticks. Mm. Most likely it would probably well, be bees. Well, they said E E. Why would bees go E? It would pro probably be around mouse. Yeah. Let's let's see. Mouse. Now look at the mammals. Mice, do we have That sounds like EE. -E. Yeah. <laughs> Mice are small, worthless rodents. Oh, that's so mean. Is that seriously what it says? Damn. Chu Ch Ch is gonna have to, like, fight someone. Yeah, the most commonly found in the household homeowners of mice infestation commonly report gnaw marks, frown small round droppings, and sounds of squeaking. Oh. Uh, Chew's probably gonna fight someone over that. I actually held one of these. A mole. Moles are so cute. Yeah, it, it didn't... It, it was clawing up my hands, though. Because, I mean, they're yeah, blind. They, yeah. <laughs> Hank here. Last week I called your guys about some crap in my yard. I was told wasn't anything to worry about. Well, guess what? There's more piles of crap in my yard. I'm talking huge piles of brown out there. You better not tell me it's nothing again, because I know I've seen something moving out there. Tell me what it is so I can take care of it once and for all. Oh, God. That doesn't sound something normal. Uh, also, um, right? Interesting thing. The, uh, answer calls, the, like, uh, answer call sound, mm -hmm. it reminded me of, um, a Pokemon theme. Uh, I, I feel like these are moles Yeah, it's either... Okay, so... 
Gophers would make more sense. Their burrows tend to look like volcano shaped mouths. What? Yeah, but there's if there's a whole bunch of them, I feel like gophers would be more likely. Gophers or go gophers? Got it. Well, I didn't say that. Like, you should actually look at gophers and read it. The brain action is sufficient for just just... Wait. What the fuck? What did I just do? Wait, I can't move anything. Okay. What did I do? I, I broke the game. Great. Okay, so we can either say gophers or moles. Because it's not letting me do anything else. What the hell happened? Try pressing escape. That pauses it. I'm starting to think you really should have saved your game. I don't think you can. You... You literally, earlier today, like, earlier in the game, clicked on something and said, save game. They said, no, I don't want to do that. No, that's delete your file. Oh, delete file? Yes, not save. I heard you say save game. It I said, like, delete your save is probably what I said. Might have to restart. <laughs> I don't know why you did that, though. Probably because you tried to exit out of the input thing. Yeah, so don't do that. <laughs> Maybe Bright should be so rash. Definitely. I like that to be. Yeah, it says delete save right here. Yeah. It's wrong with stars all at the beginning. Yep. So second one was mice. First, I forgot what the first one was. Oh, black mole. Wonder if it'll be randomly. Wonder if it'll be randomly generated. Doubtful. Okay, that scared me for a moment. <laughs> Welcome to Home Safety Hotline, new employee. My name is Carol, and I'll be acting as your supervisor during your time here at HSH. Before you begin your first day here, let me tell you a bit about how things work here. You are an HSH responder. As such, it is your job to learn about various household hazards so you can answer the questions of our callers intelligently. When a client calls, answer the call and listen carefully to their concerns. When you've diagnosed their issue, submit the corresponding household hazard, and we'll forward them safety instructions to address their problem. Welcome to the HSH family. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Look at that. Look, it's h to Delirious. I feel like I'm the only one who understood that. Right. Yes. I obviously understood it. Oh, you just didn't say anything. Yeah, I was muted because I was doing something. Oh, yeah, it's the same thing. 
<laughs> it sounds like she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Just looks like coughing to me. I don't know. You tell me, I guess. Please hold. So I have a feeling, like, further on, if we fuck up, we're gonna get someone killed. Alright, here's gophers. Gophers are small, brown, furry animal mammals with enlarged front teeth that are known for living in burrows. They can they can become a pest to house homeowners and chose to burrow on their property, calling them dam damaging gardens. Regular old house noises. Please hold. Anyways, go for a second bull bite and humans are spreading deadly diseases such as rabies, so caution around them is advised. Do not attempt to approach a gopher directly. The mole said it, it was talking about making a small volcano-like so mound, it but the gopher one didn't say anything like that. Please mm -hmm. hold. Which just says a burrow on a property colony just damaging gardens. Now, yeah, okay, then probably mole. Yeah. Watch it actually be uh, a dangerous creature. That we don't haven't seen yet. Yo, it's actually the foot bears. <laughs> they're bears, but they're made out of feet. I've actually been attacked by a bed bug once. Like bed bugs once. I've actually been attacked by a bed bug once. Someone for the, that said the devs won't do that. Oh. John here again. I got beef with you. Your people gave me bad info. What you sent us didn't have anything to do with our problems. I'll be sure to tell our friends not to be bothered, Colin. Okay, so he fucked up. It was not black mold. No. Oh. Cockroaches? Oh, maybe. The thing you meant you slept in a he bed did, with bed bugs, yeah. He he did say that, like, wife was saying an infestation. Yeah. And you just immediately went to fucking black mold. Oh, look, house homeowners with a cockroach infestation come and report seeing droppings that appear similar to coffee grounds. Um, uh, uh, I don't like this. I don't like that. Oh, I look at the little cockroach. Why do you have to be so destructive when you're so cute? And immune to nuclear bombs. They are not immune to nuclear bombs. Hey, 
they're resistant to radiation. My good for nothing kid refuses to mow and it's getting real crazy out there. Looking like a rainforest over here. My kid is complaining about being too sick to do anything about it. Meh, 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 meh. Stress of this stupid lawn's giving me a headache just thinking about it. Can you guys can you send some guys up to get this done? Please hold. Wait. Comforter ants. We actually have to send. What? Who? Who do we send? Replay the message. No, it says right here, guys. Hey, do you guys have a lot of mowing service or something? My good for nothing kid refuses to mow, and it's getting real crazy out there. Looking like a rainforest over here. My kid is complaining about being too sick to do anything about it. Blah blah blah. <coughs> <coughs> the stress of this stupid lawn is giving me a headache. Just thinking about it. Can you send some guys up to get this done? Okay, so what eats grass? Consuming decaying plant material. The grass is not decaying. Oh, here we go. Ticks. Because it says right here I'm trying to sort an area of pesticides and keeping a tidy, weed free lawn. It's ticks. What? Well, because it, you have to get rid of uh, keeping a tidy, weed free lawn, and a lot of people see grass as a weed. So they would get rid of the grass to get rid of ticks. And it also says ticks that uh, 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 shown that like giving diseases, spreading diseases. It's seeing how the kids getting sick. So is the guy. It's ticks. Yeah. 75%. Which means we missed one. Played my first day. Congrats, you're raising. Such a like quit before it's too late. You don't know me, but I used to have your job. You are in danger. Quit today before it's too late. You don't know enough. It's not too late to quit freely. Trust me. Yeah, I'm going to do what I want. I don't know how many cases we did book, so maybe. Did we get anything new? Nope. Like, I want to go over that last interaction. Mm -hmm. A guy calls this service... Asking if this surface will mow his lawn. Yep. And you sent him information about ticks. Hello, it's Carol again, your supervisor. I can reread the I'm calling to let you know thing. that you have been granted access to additional household hazard information. Please be aware that this information is confidential and not oh. to be shared with anyone outside of HSH. If you diagnose one of these hazards, we will be providing only information to the clients that is pertinent to addressing their concerns. Nothing more. I can... Thank you. I can be quick about it. Okay, whatever. Okay, we'll go back here. Hicks. 
All right. They said they talked about uh, being really sick. Ticks are incredibly dangerous humans thanks to their ability to directly spread various diseases to their hosts. Just lying to see the person of folk, folk, any other more dangerous household pests. And right here at the bottom, it says instead prevent ticks from entering your household in the first place by treating the surrounding area with pesticides and keeping a tidy weed free lawn. So, yeah. Anyways. <laughs> know about anything I can do to... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anything you can do to uh, prevent pollen from coming in the house? I think there's something seriously wrong with my ventilation or something, because I cannot stop sneezing. Oh, that sounds like mold. In the past, I haven't had problems so long as I've stayed inside, but I think something is getting in. Please, oh. But hold on. I'm seeing this thing right here. A... S a stair slug? What the fuck is that? Yeah, so this has, like, Trevor Henderson inspiration all over it. Stair slugs are large dog-sized slugs that are commonly known to occupy stairwells and basements. Homeowners infested with stair slugs commonly report a slimy residue on steps of their household inclines. Danger. Stair slugs can be beneficial to a household as they frequently feed on other pests such as mice, hobs, but the slimy residue they leave behind can lead to dangerous accidents and slippage if not clean af probably clean after. Should you wish to remove a stair slug from the household, one can simply surround the affected stairway with a thick barrier of salt. Do not attempt to apply salt directly. After the slug has dehydrated itself, you can dispose of its body. A pipe hob. What the fuck? I don't like that. Uh-uh. Don't like that at all. Pipe hops are a subspecies of hob that are known to, for making homes inside tube-like structures such as pipes. They bear no false face and are much smaller than most hobs. What the fuck's a hob? They will commonly emerge from their home at night to consume any dirt, grime, and hair in a certain area, cleaning it in the process. Danger pipe hops are not a direct danger to humans, but their physical presence can sometimes cause leaks or clogs over time. If provoked, they can also... They are also... Also capable of mischievous acts and metamorphosis. <coughs> Sorry. Pipehops cannot be comp uh, compelled to leave on their own. Once nested, instead, one should take measures to prevent provoking metamorphosis by leaving out a clipping of hair near their homes at night. Pipe growth. Oh. Pipe grubs are a type of fungus that are known for making homes inside damp tube-like structures, such as pipes. Pipe grubs often grow slightly larger than the pipes they inhabit, and therefore clog the pipe indefinitely until their removal. Pipe grubs are known to make loud bubbling digestion noises after they eat a full meal. Pipe grubs are known to attempt to eat anything that comes inside their domain. Most commonly, accidents occur when a human child attempts to reach their hand inside their home. Do not attempt to reach your hand inside an active pipe grub home. They are otherwise harmless to humans. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah. Okay, so that's interesting. House fires. Frozen Dang. pipes. Oh, yes, yeah, that's, that's normal. That's, that's a normal thing. Oh, a fracture hob. What the fuck is that? It's a hob. Fracture hobs are a subspecies of hob that are known to cause cracks and fractures in the walls of their, the homes they inhabit. They, they are physically similar to other hobs in stature and size, with the exception of a generally longer, wilder hair locks. They also bear a false face. Fracture hobs are not dangerous on their own, but the fractures and cracks they cause can lead to foundational issues in the home like in any other hob. They are also capable of metamorphosing. Okay. False beat? Oh. Oh no. Uh -huh. False beats are creatures with that beat like appearance. They are known to, to trick gardeners into harvesting and eating them by digesting themselves along with their vegetables. False beats are harmless unless eaten by a human, at which point they will take root in the human's stomach, feeding off its nutrients for its lifetime. This can cause digestive issues and potential back problems for the course of the human's life. A desk hob. Oh, that's actually cute. <laughs> Aww. Desk hobs are subspecies of hob that are known to inhabit desks, vanities, and other similar structures. 
They regularly like to tidy their homes and will frequently sort and and order materials in the desk to their lighting liking. They are physically similar to other hobs, but are generally much smaller and have raspy loose hair. They do not bear a false face. Desk hobs are not dangerous to humans if left unprovoked. Like any other hob, they are also capable of metamorphosing. Common hob. Oh, that's a bit more creepy. Common hobs are more. Are you just? Huh? Are you just like ignoring the solutions parts? Or yeah, stuff? yeah, sorry. I can go back and read the desk hob. Sorry. Desk hobs cannot be removed once they nest. To prevent further danger, measures to prevent metamorphosis should be taken as soon as possible. It is advised to leave breadcrumbs on the desk each night before going to bed. Huh. So it's just a weird little pet. Yeah. Common hobs are most common species of hob found in the household. They are small humanoid creatures with gray burlap like skin and small vertical tufts of hair on their head. They have no false face. They are known for their tendency to consume dust, dirt, and common sticky substances found on floors and dishes. Cleaning them in the process, they generally only come out at night. Stay away from the white sticky substance, common hob. Anyways. <laughs> Hobs are not dangerous to humans on their own. If provoked, however, they are capable of mischievous acts and metamorphosis. Hobs cannot be compelled to leave on their own once nested in a home. Instead, one should take measures to prevent provoking metamorphosis by leaving out a bowl of cream or milk at night. Aww. Cellar Hobs gross. don't sound that bad. Oh no! That. Mm -mm, don't like that. Don't like that at all. Oh, there's an audio sample. That was disturbing. Cellar grows are a large species of fungi that are known to grow, glow, uh, grow in the dark. Damp environments such as cellars, homeowners infested with cellar growths come and report a slimy residue, the sound of tripping or stretching or strange growths coming from their cellar. As cellar growths are most commonly grown on ceilings, their weight can often cause thrust to a home's foundation, and as such, their removal should be prioritized. The slimy residue they drip on the floor can also be toxic to small mammals or human children. When in infancy, cellar growths can be easily scraped off, and infected areas should be sanitized to prevent further growths. Cellar growth starts growing or pulsating, and it's no longer safe to remove in this manner. It's highly advised to utilize HSH fungal removal services. Carbon monoxide, that's normal. Wait a minute, I just see the thing yeah. above bees. Bad teeth. Bed teeth. Oh, bed teeth. Oh, I, saw, I thought it said bad teeth at first. Oh, what the fuck? Bed teeth are a rare kind of household fungus known for growing in small cone like shapes on the underside of bed sheets, blankets, or comforters. Homeowners infested with bed teeth often report mild discomforts when sleeping, such as tickling or itching, and more rarely, slimy acidic residue on their skin. Ugh. Bed teeth are not directly harmful to most humans. Given their brief sleeping schedule, however, they tend to gradually grow sharper over time if left untreated, which can lead to infections and the open wounds they cause. To prevent the growth of bed teeth, bed sheets and blankets should be washed regularly and inspected for rare, more persistent growths. Infested covers should be scrubbed thoroughly or disposed of entirely. And then there's just regular bats. Oh, that's a cute bat. Oh, it's a little sky puppy. Okay, so what I think he has is the black mold. Hold on. I'm going to double check first, though. Dangerous. Black mold is not immediately dangerous to humans, but enough can cause damage to a household, entirely making a long-term danger. It's also known to cause allergic reactions or breathing problems. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. All cleaning areas of maintenance can be printed, but good. Good ventilation seems has a problem with his ventilation. Yeah, it's black mold. It's 100% yeah, black that mold. Sounds about right. <laughs> Sorry, sir, for the time we had to learn about all of the different varieties of hobs. Yeah. <laughs> I like hobs. Hobs are chill. I want to have a hob in my house. Yeah, but now you can see what I mean. It says it progressively gets creepy. What about Calvin? 
Eh, screw Calvin, I just want Hob. <laughs> Do you know if there's such a thing as house saves that clean? Like, maybe oh. the disguise the robbery? Oh, yep. Hobbs. At night, I keep hearing all this noise coming from my living room, but when I go look at it, I find the place spotless. But haven't you found anything missing? I've talked with the cops, but they keep telling me to call this number. So here I am. Is there something you can do? I think that it's the common hob, but I'm gonna double check. Please. Yeah, that oh. sounded like a common. That sounds like a common hob. Let's see, there's uh, known for intending to consume dirt, dust, and common stick. Some some foreign dishes, clean them in the process. Yeah, it's common hob. Hmm. Because they like to clean. Yeah. I almost clicked carbon monoxide. That's funny. <laughs> Yeah, there's just this, yeah, there's chemicals yeah, the just with, cleaning everything. Yeah, but the issue with the desk hob idea is the fact that desk hobs only live in a desk. Yeah. And she's talking about her whole living room being cleaned. <laughs> yeah. No, I look at the hob. <laughs> If, if this game has merch, I'm pretty sure both you and me would get it. I would absolutely get a desk hob. And I'd put it on my desk. Yeah. Um. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> Buzz Goober here. Okay. About 5, I remember reading something about waking people up. Hits. Oh wait. Uh, that's not a customer. Yeah. That was probably it's a creature. Just, it's just a fucking crazy <laughs> old man. Yeah. That probably would have been the bed tea. Because they go in bed. Oh, yeah, but it's talking about, like, sounds, like, a bunch uh, of sounds going on. And bed teeth don't make sounds. Yeah. I, I don't know what's going on inside my house. I hear something crawling in the walls. I think I found teeth marks on my bedposts. I can't sleep at night knowing there's something in my house. Help me, please. Please hold. What the fuck? Teeth mark on the bedpost? Crawling in walls. It wouldn't be cellar gross. We can rule that out. And it wouldn't probably no. be any of the hobs. The only one I could kind of think of is... Um... Fracture hob, but... No. Oh yeah, the fracture hob. But I don't think that would actually work. Wait, the fracture hob has a sound. What the fuck was that? A fracture hob. Um, let's see. Maybe mice? True. Wait, what's the stair slug do again? Oh yeah, they feed on the fest. Oh, never mind. Yeah. So mice. Check the mice. That's important. Gnaw marks. Yeah. So this is just a normal pest. Wait. Uh book also says uh or raccoon. Let's see. Raccoons are small nocturnal animal mammals. Of grain brown fur nose, the tendency to rummage through garbage cans and nests in attics. How more infested raccoons can often frequent garbage spills or clattering sounds at night. Raccoons are capable of biting humans and spreading deadly diseases such as rabies, so caution around them is advised. Additionally, their 
Their feces can contain deadly parasites, which, if accidentally inhaled or ingested, can cause progressive neurological damage to humans or eventual death. Who would ingest it? And... I mean, if it's somehow gotten your food? I don't know. <laughs> well, it makes this but, pretty yeah, flattering sounds, but... Yeah, I think it's probably just mice. Alright, I'll go with you. I mean, we will get told if we got it wrong. Mm. Yeah, they'll like, call back and said they won't call again or something like that. <coughs> <coughs> This is a really I fun game, though. I still don't know why you just instantly assumed it was Black Mob on that first one. I don't know, either. And I had a second chance to look at it, too. Yeah. Sometimes you're just a fucking failure. Oh, yeah, God. Hey, Sounds like scratching or something. It's real quiet. It's uh, definitely some kind of pest in my walls. I've sent out all kinds of traps, but uh, I thought one worked for a while, but then I started hearing it again this week. I thankfully haven't seen any visible damage or droppings or whatever. Okay, so it wouldn't be a regular pest. Please hold. Hmm. What was that? Like, scratching in the walls? Scratching or something. It's real quiet, but there's definitely some kind of pest in the wa my walls. Maybe look at Fracture Hob. Again. Fracture Hob. I think they cause damage to the house. Yeah, but he just might not have seen the damage yet. The fractures and cracks, they can also lead to foundation issues at homes, and how they're also capable of metamorphosizing. Hmm. Mm. What's wrong with her? Wait, the frozen pipes. Expanding, closing. Some just can't. Horse of frozen pipes may report strange false smells, banging, or whistling sounds coming from pipes or leak. Leakage. No, not banging. Mm. What about mice? Or not mice, bats. Like, oh, yeah. I'm trying to see if pipe gropes will make sounds. That's definitely allowed. He said bat. That's definitely a loud. Yeah. I went inside home during their habitation. So bad faces gonna report sounds of scratching or flapping at night. The sign of small pet droppings. Well, they say sightings of small dry pet droppings. Hmm. Wait. Bats are more hmm. dangerous than the most household pets given their ability to fly, bite, and spread disease such as rabies. They are also they're also coming have associations with the ones above the soil, increasing potential danger significantly. What? Oh, what the f what is that supposed to mean? I don't know. Book says, hmm, could have missed the droppings. That's true. Yeah, we well, should probably look at other things first, though. Yeah, something that does scratching sounds in the walls. That, but he's not seen droppings. Wanna be oh, yeah, Pipe Hob. Check, check Pipe Hob. This piece is known to find one, so is that the bear enough false face? Well, I'll commonly emerge from home and get this lot. Some are saying, but physical appearance costs leagues, costs of time. I don't hear scratching. Heard clattering. Yeah. Hmm. No way it's a stair slug. I just wanted to hear it. Ah, uh, why did you... Eh. Uh, termites. Oh, wait, yeah, termites, maybe. 
Uh, yeah, let's go to turn right. Wait, why did I go up? It, it... <coughs> <coughs> it's it's <laughs> Turns on seeing as this up with the damage controls. Okay. So why is it consuming decaying plant material partially wood? How soon is the terminate festage of report peeling paint? The small holes in the drywall or squeakly floorboards. Um, that doesn't sound right. Yeah. This one's actually hard. Is there a gopher in their wall? <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> nah. Wait, carpenter ants? <laughs> Oh yeah, check carpenter ants. Since there's no sense inside wood, no one's infested with these pets. Some of them care. Faint rustling sound coming from the walls and build their nest. That sounds a bit like scratching. I think we got carpenter ants. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Our dangerous humans are known to bite when threatened. They also known to spread disease and cause damage to homes when they nest within. What diseases are carpenter ants spreading? AIDS. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go fuck a carpenter. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the most likely. Yeah. Forgot that they had carpenter ants. <coughs> I like this game. This is fun. Oh, yeah. This is a vibe. Come on, give us a hob. I wanna, I wanna talk about me. hobs. I need home security installed. Someone's breaking into my house and going through all my stuff at night. I know it's Bob from accounting. He's always been envious of me. I know what you're doing, Bob. Going through my papers, taunting me with your organization skills. I need your best. Yeah, that's a hob. Equipment. Pronto. Yeah, we, that that sounds like a desk hob. Yeah, that's a hundred percent a desk hob. Yeah, I don't think we even need to read it again. Desk hob. <laughs> it's a good thing nothing's timed. Yeah. <laughs> if this was timed, we'd be fucked. 100%. Accuracy 100%. Accuracy. Yeah. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, this is definitely Actually. a game that I thought would be really fun to play with you, Hatchet. Because this, this is getting really good and fun. Probably because you're too rash to play it on your own. That oh wait, we got it we got a new video. Ooh. The real estate the update. The real estate update. Four thousand dollars. One bed, two bathrooms, one thousand square feet. That's not a bad looking house. When is, I mean, this has to be taking place in, like, the yeah. early 90s. Yeah. Oh, it says right here in date, 1996. Four thousand. Two bed, three bathrooms, 1,600 square feet. That sounds actually, like, way too low of a price for yeah. 1998. 120,000 for four beds, five bathrooms, 2,120 square feet. That's definitely too bad. Maybe a word. Civil authority has issued a missing persons alert for the following counties: Bush County, Maple County. Wait, these are sounding familiar. Parkway County, Barry County. Those are all g counties from games I played. This is a oh. missing persons alert. Authorities this are currently looking for missing child Robbie missing Parker, child. male, brown hair, approximately four feet tall, last seen wearing a yellow shirt, brown shorts, and white tennis shoes. Suspect is described to be approximately six feet tall, barefoot, wearing a large bush or shrub on their person, last seen at approximately 10.25 a.m. Please report any unusual activity to your local authorities. We got that thing that can eat kids. So it looks like carpenters, if they get into your food supply, can contaminate it pretty quickly. Some diseases that they can spread are salmonella, staph, uh, staph E. coli, strep, shigella, clostridium, and various other fungi. Oh, they can bring strep? Oh, wow. Damn. Damn, carpenter ants be fucking bioterrorists. Yeah. Oh. 
they gave you access to more info, didn't they? I want you, I want you, if you end up like me, join me in this hole. They haven't found me yet. It's safe here. Attention to call team, our network team is migrating our backend services over our new hosting provider this week. So you may experience some occasional network errors over the next few days. Please be sure you are studying your, your information entries carefully when you still have access in case the network goes down while you're on the phone with the client. You'll still be expected to provide accurate answers to our callers regardless of network status. Oh, uh, or we're going to be timed now. Hey, yeah, we got, we, we've got limited time to read stuff now. Congratulations for your high accuracy rate reward you today's daily coupon. Today's daily coupon is useful. Is for used horseshoe. Our stock for used horseshoes are as reliable as they are rusty. 90% of our supply are variably forged from real iron. Supplies run out quickly, so stock up while you can. To receive your discount, simply type the following code during your online checkout. A great deal for sure. Keep up the great work, employee. What the f- Okay, yeah, sure. I I definitely need used rusty horseshoes for fucking the like close to the amount of money I could get both the old Star Wars Battlefront games with. I think what we're gonna deal now with because a bunch of them started talking about Manmorphous. I think we're probably gonna deal with that now. Yeah, which means we're probably gonna get into more dangerous territory. Oh, that's porn. Hey, Jed. Horseshoes just bring good luck, says Chu. Oh, we need to oh, read yeah. the mice hey, thing cool. real quick. Because Chu's here. Mice oh, are yeah. small, worthless rodents commonly found in a household. <laughs> House of... Homeowners with mice infestation <laughs> calling report non mark small round droppings and sounds from squeaking. Choose has been here just quiet. Oh. Small mice are small worthless rope. Hello, yeah. supervisor. So Shit her at mouse. We've Kill it. Your permissions. You should now have access to more extensive information to work with for your future calls. Please be sure to read these new entries carefully so you can continue providing our clients with accurate diagnoses. Please remember that this information is strictly confidential and not to be shared with anyone unless pertinent to a caller's needs. Thank you. Okay. Alright, let's start looking through. A Bogart? Oh god. Oh, Bogart's yeah. Adrian... Yeah, it's a general term for metamorphous tob. They are large hairy humanoids between 6 and 7 feet tall and bear fairly convincing false faces. Oh god. They are known for causing household accidents such as flooding fires or electrical outages. They are frequently observed their targets while they sleep. Bogarts are extremely dangerous to humans and pets due to their malicious nightly household activities, which can often cause injury or death. They also re react very violently when, they s when seen by humans, but thankfully their ins these instances are rare as they excel at staying hidden. So hobs are kind of kind of have a gremlin effect going on. Huge, a mug, why? It's as big as my dog. It doesn't hiss or growl or anything, but I haven't gotten close enough to it to find out what it is since it's always just lurking out of sight from the top of the stairs. I need someone to come get this thing out of okay, my Okay, I think that I know what this is. I think this I might be the, the stair slot. I still hear the steps creaking under its weight down there. Lock Please the hold. <laughs> let's go back to the stair. Well, first, let's read everything. Okay. False artifact. False artifacts are seemingly human designed objects that can manifest suddenly inside a home. They are known for making general buzzing sounds that, that can usually only be heard by very young human children or small animals. Homeowners of false artifacts often report out of place object, objects or missing children or pets. False artifacts, while not a direct threat to all adult humans, can pose a significant risk to small human children and animals. Should a child or pet be left alone with a false artifact, they are at risk of being encased within. 
Once in case, no noise made by the prey can be heard. While digestion can take upwards to several years to complete, starvation can be a more pressing concern. Okay, so these are fake household objects that might bore yeah. people. Oh god, I don't like that. What the? Look at the bottom where its roots False would be. False rose bush. <laughs> I don't, don't like that. False rose bushes are large plant-like creatures that are commonly take on the appearance of red rose bush. In place of fruits, these creatures have two small humanoid feet that they use to chase down prey. Homeowners with false rose bushes often report missing pets or children. False rose bushes... The... <laughs> okay, so Chew Preview said, What is it with indie horror and killing kids and then the bush is posting feet for free? Oh my god. False rose bushes pose an incredible danger to homeowners with children or pets as their diet consists of small mammals and they are known to be fast and efficient hunters. Homeowners without children or pets face a reduced risk, so as they cannot swallow whole anything larger than themselves. Lamp Sprite Lamp Sprites are common as a species of sprite that can make, make their homes inside lamp fixtures. They are known for causing the lamps they inhibit to flicker or burn hotter, sometimes causing a burning smell in the home. Lamp Sprites are not dangerous to humans unless provoked. Do not, under any circumstances, turn off the lamp or attempt to reach your hand inside the lamp when actively inhibited. <laughs> Solution. Lamp sparks will leave on their own once their lamp of choice goes out on its own. At this point, they will attempt to seek out a new lamp. To prevent a lamp spray from rehoming itself, ensure all household lamps are turned off until the expiration period. When a lamp spray fails to find an active lamp, it will leave home on its own. It's, it's, so you you can never turn a lamp off, okay? Yeah, you just don't turn that lamp off, and that's the only lamp you're allowed to have on in your house. Okay. Memory wisp. No, due to a clerical error, the audio sample provided above is incorrect. This issue will be corrected by the end of the month. Okay. I'll try playing it anyway. Oh, I don't like that. Memory wisps Thanks, are, gang. Yeah. Memory wisps are invisible and odorless household wisps that are known for removing memories from the home and in, and its home, homeowners. Homeowners infested with memory wisps will often report missing pictures, photo albums, and an inability to remember the faces of loved ones. Memory wisps are not a danger to physical health or of humans, however, their ability to affect human memory can sometimes lead to household accidents or reckless activity. Net this this anomaly is responsible for half of the American divor divorces. Nah, that's the thing that's actually responsible for that is patriarchy. <coughs> oh my God. The reason why the major the reason why there's so many divorces is a long-standing precedent of people just getting married instantly. Yeah. And the second that people. Yeah, and domestic abuse. And the second that people are capable of leaving said households, they tend to. There's a reason why Gen X and even Gen Z have some of the highest uh, marriage retention rates. Because they tend to wait long enough to know that they actually like a person before tying the knot. Yeah. Yeah, anyways. Uh, mirror nifs are a subspecies of nif that are known for stealing the likeness of homeowners and passerbys. They are generally small, faceless, and voiceless humanoids carrying a large mirror that they beckon others to look into. Homeowners afflicted by mirror nifs commonly report not being able to recognize their own face. Mirror nifs, although nuisances, are not directly to humans. Oh. Mirror nifs will wonder. Did I say Gen X? I was meaning millennials. Sorry. Yeah. Mirror nymphs will wander into different locations, provided nobody look at it, into their mirror. Affected homeowners can restore their likeness by catching the mirror nymph and breaking its mirror with an iron implement. A tea sprite. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> it looks like a moth that's drowning in tea. Yeah. Tea sprites are a subspecies of sprite that are 
known to feed off of tea or tea leaf residue. Homeowners infested with tea sprites commonly report leaf-like droppings and sounds of fluttering near kitchens. Tea sprites are not directly dangerous to humans, but they are known to spread various deadly diseases, including the fatal Fay flu, and should be removed as soon as possible. Fay flu? Oh, that's what's wrong with Britain. Oh my god. They've all got fucking tea sprites. Toilet hob. Toilet hob. Oh god. <laughs> <coughs> well, hobs are a subspecies of hob that are known for homemade inside toilets. They bear false faces and have two separate clumps of wisping hair on each side of their heads. Like most hobs, they tend to clean their homes and when they are active at night, keeping the toilets they inhabit nearly spotless. Toilet hobs are not dangerous on their own. But their physical presence within the toilet they inhabit may result in plumbing problems over time such as leaks or clogs. Like any other hob, they are also capable of metamorphosizing. Hmm. Cannot be removed. How, how it's advised to leave an egg near the toilet each night before going to bed. Okay, so you have a free guy, you got a guy, that sits mm -hmm. in your toilet and cleans it for you, and the rent that they pull from is one egg every night. Yeah. Unicorn's she fungi. Was, she was safe because he hates tea, eats shit, he enjoys coffee and hot chocolate, enjoys stay winning. I like all three. Britain got that curse from all the oppression hot, of the Irish. Hot chocolate. Oh my god. Hot chocolate enjoyers are definitely the best. I didn't notice this anomaly at first, <laughs> but it's right here. Oh, no! Why is there a unicorn <laughs> horn on the puppy? Description. Unicorn fungi are a rare horn-shaped fungus that are that are known to grow on the heads of furry ant mammals and household pets. They often affect the mammal's disposition, causing them to be drawn to the soil. Homeowners often report their pets furiously digging around or inside their home. Unicorn fungi are not directly harmful to humans, but they can often lead to other household problems, such as broken floorboards, uprooted plants, or waking up other things beneath the soil. Oh, I don't like Waking that sense. up other things beneath the soil. Okay. To prevent unicorn fungi from developing, regularly bathe your pet, especially after any outdoor activities. Good luck, Hatchet, with all your cats. I mean, the only... I mean... Like, the only thing I'd actually need to worry about is Festus, because he goes out. Yeah. So just give him a bath. Again, don't be nasty, says Book. Oh, it says that audio sample. It's called Whistling Fungi. It just sounds nice. Remember that during our little tour guide reading, a man is dealing with a dog-sized creature in his basement. And no, it's not me. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, all the while, this guy's kind of fucking freaking out because there's something weird in his basement. I think it's a stair slug. But anyways, whistling fungi are small mushroom-like growths and with many small holes in their caps that frequently uh, grow through drywall gaps and cracks. Homer's infested whistling fungi often report a dissonant whistling sound coming from the walls. Warning, if you ever hear whistling fungi singing in harmony... Evacuate your home immediately. Whistling fungi are rarely dangerous to humans, but their growth can cause foundation problems. If whistling fungi ever sing in harmony, evacuate your home immediately. Do not return for any reason. The rest of whistling fungi will be, can be removed. Commonly, weed killers, blah. blah. They're always sure that there are no open cracks in your home. Okay. A wine sprite. A <laughs> it's just a little guy standing in the wine glass. Yeah. Wine sprites are a subspecies of sprite that are known for consuming wine. They are small, large eyed winged creatures with translucent skin that often appears red when they're while they are feeding. They have long proboscis that they use to drink. Homeowners infested with wine sprites commonly report broken glasses and their wine having a rotten taste and smell. Wine sprites are not directly dangerous to humans, but they are known to spread various deadly diseases, including fatal fae flu, and should be removed as soon as possible. 
Wood secretions. I don't like that. I don't, what's? Oh, I see it. Oh God, no. Ah. Uh, oh, it's like the fucking wood is bleeding. Wood secretions are a pink viscous liquid substance that can sometimes form from wood that has been mistreated. It is known to drip from uh. wooden materials such as furniture or walls, causing sticky pooling buildup. Wood secretions can be deadly to uh. humans. Huh? So this, so this is the um, Ghostbusters ooze thing. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> causing a rapid translation of flesh if ingested, keeping animals and human children away from secretions at all costs, as its foul odor will be interpreted as sweet candy-like smell to them, making them particularly susceptible to accidental ingestion. Bright isn't yeah. reading our funny messages. True. That's interpreted. Because I'm busy That's reading the entities. Anyways, I think it's a stair slug. Stair slugs are large dog -si sized slugs. And they are commonly known to occupy stairwells and basements. Mm. What is the rest of poor slime? What is the on steps? Oh, uh, so inclines. Beneficial household. Well, they're beneficial. Question, question is, did they say anything about, like, did they, say, did they say anything about slime? No, they didn't, but... They also said that it's, like, staying constantly out of sight. Which is odd. No, only one that's usually... That it said it was out of sight, I don't think it but is. I don't know what else it would be. It's dog sized it's it's dog sized and it's in the basement. This is the only one that says it stays out of sight, but that's six to seven feet tall and I'm pretty sure it's not dog sized. Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. I I think it's a stair slug. Right, isn't ADHD enough to multitask? Fuck you. Or two ADHD enough. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I think that's probably the best bet. Yeah. Oh wait, we can hear Bogart. Bogart. It's a, it's called a Bogart. Oh. Again, this has some real Trevor Henderson vibes in the creature designs. Yeah, watch like Cartoon Cat be revealed. <laughs> <laughs> to be part of this world. I don't like that last sound. Hey, uh, I've been hearing some really weird noises coming from the bathroom faucet recently. I'm not sure what oh. you mean. It just oh. makes this nasty sound anytime I run it. Along with this, uh, nasty smell. Please hold. Okay, I mean, hold up. Hold up. Two, uh, says, Hatchet, can you please scroll up and read what we've been saying since Bright doesn't wanna? So, let's see, I'll start from the eggs. Uh, don't be nasty. Outdoor tent. Minor that dairy and little tour guy reading. Oh, yeah, we. <laughs> yeah, we had this. Uh, also reminds me of the love scene. Can I get the whistling fun guy to sing eight melodies? She was still winning because I don't drink alcohol. Woo. Lamau, they went for the <laughs> wine enjoyers. Coffee and hot chocolate enjoyers still safe. Wait, our, <laughs> wait, we use cooking wine sometimes. Fuck. Bright isn't reading our funny messages. <laughs> Though I'm totally <laughs> expecting coffee to be soon. Multitask, motherfucker. Bright isn't ADHD <laughs> enough to multitask, and now we're caught up. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I think it's a pipe hop. This is in the bathroom. There's also. Huh? Don't forget, there's also the pipe the Pipe growth. Or whatever growth. it is, yeah. You mentioned a really nasty smell. Is there a nasty smell with pipe hob? Because, like, pipe hob cleans. Well, I just said that because it's a mischievous 
axe. It makes a snazzy sound anytime I run it. Well, that doesn't. Oh, wait, never mind. Anyways, uh, damp two by structures, as opposed to the soldier's Yeah, babbling noises, so yeah. Alright, bubbling noises after they eat a full meal. Yeah, so it's probably that. Yeah. But it doesn't say anything about smell, but I think we can go with this. I mean, it's literally digesting things, and you could probably easily smell the digestion. It has to be pipe growth. Mm -hmm. It would make no sense for a pie pod to be smelly. <coughs> Unless they're bad at their job. I mean, true. Might might have a lazy pipe hob. But then they'd also literally be starving. Yeah. So we got a lot uh, freed up. But we still haven't seen... we only seen one metamorphosis. And it, and it seems like whenever they go through a metamorphosis, it's very dangerous. Mm-hmm. Oh, I know what this one is. Yeah, this is the this is the mirror. Unless this is one of the these. Oh, no, this isn't the mirror thing. This is the memory. Oh yeah, memory. Memory wisp. At first, I thought it was the mirror nymph because the face, but once they it start kept going, I was like, "Yeah, no, this is memory." <laughs> right, you have to pay attention to certain other details. He yeah. said there was this nasty smell, and we know pipe pods clean, so it couldn't be a pipe hot. Fair. I pay attention to detail of that one. You see, that's why Bright's playing that with Aderna and me in the room. Mm -hmm. Because we have to wrangle Bright like a fucking rabid dog. Let it eat the memories, then leave it on its own. Oh, uh, yeah. Mary was still move out of the house on their own once they have stolen away the inhabitants' memories. There's no need for further action. That's really fucked. It was not a pipe growth. Boom. So then, so that means our other one was correct, though. Probably. Probably. Was there anything else that happens in the pipes? I mean, we've got frozen pipes. I have never seen such a big old mess left behind by your pest control team. Just tons of twigs, sticks, red pinball. Saw it, and I ain't putting up with it no more. I got sawdust coming out of my drawers here. I had to grab you by the goober and smack you around till next Sunday. Now, <laughs> what's it gonna do? What's it gonna do to make this right? It sounds like me when I'm trying to do joke rambling. Yeah. I feel like those calls are from an anomaly. Not my goober. <laughs> Grab them by the goober. Yeah, I have a feeling those, you know, the phone calls to get disconnected. I have a feeling they're going to come out when we have the metamorphous stuff. Uh, hi? I, uh, 
Uh, I have no idea what's happening. My sheets are growing nasty sharp things on them, and my legs itch like crazy. I already know what this is. Do I need to be showering yeah. more mm -hmm. often or something? This is bad, bad I usually shower like once a week for my skin health, so maybe that's it? <laughs> like... The second they said she's growing nasty sharp things. Please. Benty. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, right, if you can't figure this out, I'm concerned. I'm not if this my stupid. Goop, not my goober. If my goober gets grabbed, how am I going to be goofy? <laughs> I mean, if that's wrong, I'm going to be shocked. Watch it actually be like bed bugs. <laughs> Which would make no sense. <laughs> Are you sure about that, Bright? Hello? I was told to call this number to ask about my problem. The wall in my bedroom doesn't look great near the bottom. The bottom of the wall has some cracks, or maybe it's peeling. Fracture hubs. Not sure. I have a cat named Whiskers, and sometimes he likes to sharpen his claws at the couch, but he would never do that to the wall. He knows just how naughty that would be. Sure. Sure the cat you, knows that. You severely underestimate the evil of cats, but He's okay, cold. it's probably Fracture Hobbs. I still will check, though. Hey, hey, Bright. It's well, it should actually be the cat. Apparently. Oh, book looked it up. Apparently it was frozen pipes, not fucking pipe growth. Are you serious? Beds. Look this... at the gap between bed bugs and bed teeth. Oh, fuck. Yeah, there's gotta be something between... There's gonna be another thing that's bed something. Yeah, I don't cause, like that. Cause cracks and fractures in the walls and homes they inhabit. Yeah. Yeah. Frozen pipes. So they got... Let's see here. What is the cause for it? For it's fat faucet smells. And we're spanging uh... and whistling sounds. Oh. Well, it looks like we all kind of fucked up. Yeah, but we not. Sh but but no one as bad as Bright did by immediately jumping to the faucet hog. Pretty sure. Uh... Not me, she was perfect. I mean, yeah, she didn't say anything wrong. <laughs> at that time, at least. Now we wait. Oh, here we go. Yep, we are all like hyper focused on the strange creatures. Yeah. about some weird noises I had coming from my living room, and the info package you sent me said something about leaving out a bowl of cream? What kind of joke is that? It's been a week now that I've been dealing with this racket, no thanks to you, and now we're starting to have power outages. Your employee's stupid joke is now probably going to cost me who knows how much in repair costs, so talk to your manager and tell them they owe me big time. You figure out what's going on in my house, and you figure it out now! I think it went through a metamorphosis. Oh, I doubt that yet, but... Please hold. <coughs> or maybe, yeah. Actually, yeah, that makes sense, because we still have to... What is it He saying? didn't... I'm causing household accidents such as falling fire, fires or electrical outages. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do not, under any circumstances, refer to an active uh, uh, bogart by any name. Once you become aware of its presence, simply vacate the premises. Friday, you do not speak to the bogart at any time, in any fashion. It will remain in its original location. Right? Yes. Right, right, right is pronounced bogart. Bogart, right. So, yeah, he got a metamorphosis, which means he did something wrong. Well, yeah, he very clearly did something wrong. We told him to do the right thing, which is leave out the bowl of cream. But he didn't leave out the bowl of cream, so now he has a bigger problem. We did our job correctly. He's just a dumbass. Yeah, so, yeah, now he's got something that will probably kill him. Yeah, so now he's just got to fucking leave. 
Time to get a new home because you didn't leave out the bowl of fucking cream. Oh. He, he, since, um... since he's about... <laughs> we oh, got yeah, nice. two, two thirds correct. If Gary dies, then that means Mother Nature is doing her job. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, the thing is, he, based on, like, what he said and shit, I doubt he would, like, take your advice and would, like, just actively, like, harass the, harass the boggart, so... Yeah, he's, he's gonna die. Gonna... He's probably gonna start, like, he's gonna find the boggart, walk up to it, and fucking challenge it to a fucking rap contest or something. Or try and use a gun on it. Gonna freestyle on the boggart. Yeah, we got a oh new video. Gods. No, no, no. The, no, the boggart's gonna freestyle on him. Well, he's gonna try, yeah, he's gonna try to freestyle on the boggart, and the boggart's gonna turn him into, into goo. Yeah, anyways, we got a new video. Let's watch it. <laughs> Boggart epic rap battles. Oh my god. Science mysteries. Oh, book says it was not the fracture hob. Fuck. Damn it. The mystery it's of the mice. Mice. One of humanity's oldest friends and oldest enemies. From the Black Plague to the shelves of our pet stores. Mice have lived could, could have been that uh, fracture creature thing like that humans, like mice may even be evolving. It was something mundane. As well. uh. mm -hmm. Yeah, that. This oh, it was something mundane. Some, uh, yeah, go ahead, book. As the common house mouse. Also, the main thing that caused the black plague must, was rats, not mice. Like Otherwise known as the smart mouse. Oh, it was termites. Known for its uniquely colored eyes. Wow. And more importantly, it's increased. I'm not hiding no mystery. Mice have brains smaller than peanuts, and yet modern science has observed they are capable of thinking quite intelligently. And in the case of the smart mouse, perhaps even capable of communication. With the help of modern yeah, very small, technology, smart, today's tiny scientists mouse brain. have been able to interpret the previously indecipherable squeaks. Ah, uh, so, so they were talking about you there. What seems to be yeah. hidden messages within. Let's take a listen. Or are we just hearing things that aren't there? Do mice and men yes. have more in common than previous <laughs> it's, it's the latter. Well, I suppose that's what makes this a science mystery. Oh my god. Y'all just fucking hook. My Sona can speak. Oh, that's a headache. Yeah. Introducing our new office pet. Welcome home safety hotline family. We're excited to introduce you our brand new office pet, Whiskers. Whiskers is loyal, friendly, and is as serious about pet con pest control as we are. Please give Whisker a warm welcome if you see him wander by your desk. Note, please refrain from picking up or feeding Whiskers as he is still getting to know everyone in the office at and has scheduled feeding times. It's Festus. Okay. Uh, that well, one that is not Festus. Two, we love Whiskers, but three, Whiskers deserves a better name than Whiskers. <laughs> I'm going to call Whiskers Thur Hanselot. Whiskers is gonna die already. Right. No, no, I'm calling it now. Oh no, now I just realized we're all gonna get into more dangerous creatures. There it is. Yes, that's this. Yes, that's kind of how this hat works. It it would it would be so funny if this time we get a call from, like, 
that person's family or some shit and they're like um yeah this um we're calling because uh says the, the name of the person is uh died <laughs> Here we go. he's dead he tried to punch some bogart in the face Hello. supervisor carol here again i've been watching the closely employees <laughs> i'm impressed so far by your dedication to accuracy I have once again really? updated your permission so you should have access to more extensive household hazard information. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest upon me. You should not trust me. The call is coming from inside the True. house. True. We, sh we should not. Attic trust. gnome. Attic gnomes are a subspecies of gnome known to nest in attics and ceilings, homeowners infested. God damn it, I can't read the rest. You got gnome. I map is wrong oh my god. Fossil. Recently I've been having the worst kind of stomach bug, just aches and pains constantly. But after a month, still hasn't gone away, and I'm thinking there's gotta be something wrong with the water, because we only eat fresh, homegrown fruits and vegetables here, and we ain't never had any problems up till now. I already know what this is. I keep hearing that. It's the fucking radish thing. Yeah. Send someone out to get this fix for us. He he Please he hope. swallowed a, he 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 vor a, a parasitic radish thing. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, homeowners infested with attic gnomes are often report a knocking or rapping sound coming from their ceilings or a surplus of dust coming out of their ventilation systems. Attic gnomes' feeding habits can often be a Boon homeowners as they consume dust, cobwebs, now sold pets such as spiders in large quantities. However, when frightened, they will violently expel their meals, which can send large quantities of dust par particulates into the air, causing air quality issues in the household. They are very easily frightened. They're putting fake beets in the water that turn the friggin' homeowners gay. A cellar shit. grotto. Oh, I remember this picture. Cellar girls are a large cave life network known to sometimes appear spontaneously in cellars and basements. Homeowners of cellar grottos will often report a bad smell coming from the basement, higher humidity in the home, and a notable increase in large beetles, frogs, and related pests. Cellar grottos can introduce a number of dangerous pests into the home, and the heightened humidity they introduce can cause warped floorboards, weakened foundation, and other hazards. So wait, the attic gnomes do the epic rap battles? Yes. What? Because it says a raft was one wrong, of the things. Wrong, wrong right. kind of rapping. Yeah. Anyways, wrong kind of rapping. I like the solution for this. Stellar girls can be removed by finding their creator and presenting them with a gift of gold. The creator can <laughs> res often reside somewhere within the grotto's subterranean lake. For safety, bring sp uh, spelunking and snorkeling equipment on your excursion, or consider utilizing HSH's grotto removal team. No, it's not. They're having rap battles. <laughs> oh, we get to know what the Fae flu is. Uh, Fae Feast. Okay. I'm guessing it's that white thing. Feasts are mid to large sized piles oh, of, ver this folk really of various edible food substances, frequently including flour, cornmeal, and various species of fungi. They are known to appear near eat eating areas of the home. Feasts are not dangerous if consumed, but if left untouched, they can provoke more dangerous activity or else its continued presence can attract other household pests such as cockroaches or carpenter ants. So if you see this, you have to eat it. <laughs> That's. Oh. Okay. For maximum or you could for assured safety, all members of the home should partake in the feast. Yeah, feasts are a sign of hospitable presence, and as such should be consumed immediately once sighted to prevent provoking or offending the gifter. Yeah. Alright, that's no, no, the No, 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 fuck it. Oh! Defend the gifter. Oh god. 
Fey flu is a rare and dangerous disease commonly spread by a household fey. Symptoms of Fey flu include headaches, fever, eye discoloration, seeds taking root in skin pores, and blooming. Fey flu is oh. rarely fatal, but they can have long-lasting effects on the lifetime health of an infected human. Long-term symptoms commonly include dizziness, fatigue, monocolored vision, deliriousness, and endless dreams. Endless dreams? <laughs> um, um... Okay, so, uh, forget what I just said, eat the Fae Feast. Yeah. There's no Those cure- Those are just barnacles these people need to stop being overly dramatic. Yeah. There's no cure for Fae Flu, however, one can take precautions against it by keeping a clean Fae Free home. Floor Roots? Oh. Floor roots are tree-like brown roots that are known to grow upwards from the floor to wrap themselves around various objects or humans in their vicinity. Floor roots grow mm. grow slow enough and that they serve very little danger to awake and aware human adults. However, if not spotted quickly, they are known strangling has they, they are known strangling hazard for human children and pets while they sleep. Removal should be a priority in house family households. The only way to fix barnacles is with a large, sharp object. Someone hit the metal shovel. <laughs> oh we my gosh. the crustaceans off their skin. The solution. Floor roots require something to wrap around before they they will cease their growth. So it's advised to acquire dolls or similar human shape. That's a like mate. To facsimiles. give... Facsimiles. Facsimiles. Yeah, fac facsimiles. To give them a safer alternative, place the dolls in an infected room and leave the roots alone for the night. By morning, the dolls and roots should be gone and the room safe to inhibit it once more. Make any repairs for what's needed. Blah, blah, blah. Next is the Horde. Like oh, God. Uh, mm, don't like that. I do not like that. <laughs> the Horde it is an. Oh. The Horde is an invisible, odorless collective consciousness that is known to collect and store large quantities of common household refuse. 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 Oh, okay, so that's literally just a pile of trash. Yeah. For the horde. The, ho <laughs> it, the horse into the horde pile, too. Yeah. The horse tends to store vast quantities of trash in the home, make the, them prone to spreading disease to, uh, to the home's inhabitants, rotten food, use syringes and rusty metal are among more common household hazards that can be introduced by the horde's presence. Wait, a horde. Is this the work of a dragon? Adurna, do you have to do, have something oh, no. to do with this? Oh no, you're you're catching on. Fuck. Uh. <laughs> Adurna's been hoarding trash. Oh my gosh, Hobbs all, can help all take... The, hordes. the Hobbs can help take care of the hordes. Oh, yeah. Just get an army of hobs. The laundry gnome. <laughs> Where is he in there? I don't know. It looks like a butthole. Oh my god, Hatchet. Laundry gnomes are a subspecies of gnome with thick fiber-like fur. They can fold their bodies into various shapes and often resemble dirty towels. Homeowners with laundry gnomes can often report loud rattling or banging sounds coming from the washing machines and missing socks. Laundry gnomes pose... Dragons need hops in their cave to help clean up. Yeah. Laundry gnomes pose no direct threat to humans, though their lifestyles often lead to broken washing machines or dryers, which can occasionally cause small floods. Water damage can lead to further problems in a home, and essentially laundry gnomes should not be left to their own devices. Night Gnome. Oh, I don't like that. It's in the window. Oh. Hmm. Night Gnomes are small hairy creatures with, with a pointed head. They are known for their tendency to enter the sleeping quarters of humans and watch them while they sleep. Homeowner Homeowners affected by Night Gnomes frequently report sighting them in the middle of the night or report heavy breathing sounds during light hours. <coughs> I don't like that. <coughs> yeah. Night gnomes are not known to be deadly to humans, but those who suffer from heart conditions 
should consider wearing sleep masks to prevent being startled by their presence. So it's literally just a weird little guy that likes getting into your house and staring at you while you sleep. Yeah. Which according to some uh, some romance novels, that's apparently a super romantic thing, so I think the night gnomes have the hots for us. <laughs> a night wisp. Alright, night wisps are a subspecies of wisp in the form of bright floating lights. They are known to hover outside windows at night while whispering promises of wealth and good fortune. Night wisps are not dangerous to humans unless listened to. Refrain from listening to their whispers and following their directions. Portal. Oh, so little jerks. <laughs> Portals are door shaped openings to an outdoor locations other than the homeowners discovered most commonly in basements or underground cellars. Homeowners of portals frequently report cold drafts, strange dreams, and a strong desire to enter. So Portal the night wisps are filthy capitalists? Oh my god. Portals can introduce a wide variety of dangerous elements to a home and should be dealt with as soon as they are discovered. They can initially cause drafts and introduce heating problems to a home. Narnia. Yeah. Seedling. Ugh. Seedlings are small insectoid creatures about the size of an amphid. Aphid. Aphid. They are known for yeah. burrowing in outdoor planters or gardens, feeding off the roots of nearby weeds. Though their weed killing lifestyles can make them useful for gardeners, seedlings are extremely territorial and react violently to anything competing for their food source. Never remove a weed from a seedling infested garden. They are known to compel competitors to commit violent acts on themselves or others. Wait, on themselves? Oh. She says, wait, no. Night wisps are influencers that sell you tips in online universe. Oh my gosh, so... Yeah, so, uh, so, so, so they're, uh, Kate's. So, so you yeah. open that window to listen to the floating lights outside your house, and they're like, Hey, have you ever heard of Rager University? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at the little gnome. Oh, travel gnome! We got travel gnomes, everybody. Travel gnomes are highly invasive subspecies of gnome that are known to stow away inside luggage of unsuspecting travelers to introduce themselves to new households. They are found most commonly in highly forested areas of the globe. Travel gnomes can affect the household in various ways. They will often create expensive gardens inside their new homes, leaving soil, plants, and common outdoor pests in the in their wake. These gardens, in addition to introducing a variety of dangerous pests, can also create foundational problems in a home if they continue to grow un un unabated. Unabated. Unabated, whatever. Unabated. Oh my Shut god. Up. That I was sad. Who says I kind of want to trap a travel gnome in the suitcase and yeah. just take it while. Anyway, we already know what this one is. It's a false beat. Yeah. Nah, let the travel gnomes have their gardens. Okay, I I feel like right now, the rest of these inaccessible stuff are probably going to be metamorphous stuff. Are probably going to be what? Metamorphous. You know, the ones where oh. they met, uh, become uh, like yeah. highly dangerous. Yes, I, 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 I know. I just didn't hear what you said. Ah. Uh. Oh, here we go. Hello? Oh, we were wrong. I followed every instruction your people sent me, but I'm still getting cracks on my wall. Yeah. Uh, my daughter is called Pest Control, and she told me not to call you anymore for help. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Oh, wait. The yeah. Travel Gnome has an audio sample. Flame bright. Fuck you. That was, a, that was a little bit of everyone in voice chat. Yeah. The police told me to call this number, so I uh, hope 
I got the right number here. Anyway, uh, I think... I think somebody is stalking me. I can see their shadow at night at my window, just staring into the house. When I close the window, yeah, I can still hear him out there, breathing. Mm -hmm. I've been sleeping on the couch every night this past week, just so he won't see me. The police said they can't do anything, so please, send somebody or do something about this. <laughs> I can hardly sleep anymore. <laughs> Damn, please. Listen, oh. listen, you'll just have to get used to it. The gnome just wants to look at you, okay? He, he means no harm. Yeah, so far none of the gnomes, except for the travel gnome, like, do something really bad. Yeah. The travel gnome is the only are just one. Kind of, yeah. Gnomes are just kind of vibing, you know? Yeah. And I mean, even the travel gnomes vibe, it's just that they're kind of aggressive in how they vibe. Because yeah. they, they, they bring the outdoors indoors. <laughs> Sorry, Felicia. The police can't do anything until you die. And by can't, I mean won't. <laughs> Hello, yes. I believe there may be some kind of problem with our home ventilation. Lately, oh. we've been hearing awful banging noises coming from the ceiling, and the air quality seems to have been drastically reduced. My daughter hasn't been able to stop coughing. Okay. Mm. This could either be black mold Please, or oh. another thing I'm thinking of, which is like... This it's probably not black mold. Yeah, Why well. would there be banging? Oh, right. It wouldn't be banging. Yeah, never mind. I was thinking of the air quality thing. Hmm. There's multiple things that affect our air quality. Look, what was the ceiling thing that I read about? I forgot which one it was. Uh, gnome? The, the attic gnome? I think it's only when they get frightened, though. Nah. So what did it now? I don't think it would be pipe growth either. No. Nah. Because they don't affect the air quality, really. Well, what yeah, book says like knocking that? or rapping. Why would... No. No. There's floor growth. knocking or... Awful banging noises. There's floor growth, I think. Let me check the floor growth then. Oh, there's floor root. Probably not it. Yeah. Um. Look back at the attic gnome. Yeah, this is the only. The gnomes feeding habits dust cobwebs and household pests the spiders in large quantities however when frightened they will violently expel their meals and can send large quantities of dust particles into the air causing air quality issues <coughs> in the household They're, they are very easily frightened They're very easily frightened. So. so noise quality seems to have been drastically reduced. My daughter hasn't been able to stop coughing. I feel like attic gnome is our best guess right now. Why are you even looking at black mold? Uh, uh I just got the random one. Why? <laughs> is that what we want to go for? Attic gnome? Well, I'm trying Wait, to think. What are you going to say, Dana? I was going to say, let's look at some more, just to make sure. Wait. No, it's not that.
It's not that bright. I know, I, I just didn't look at the bottom part. I wanted to see if there was something stupid if, if, as a solution. <laughs> this family's gonna die with bright at the helm, <laughs> probably. I'm not really seeing anything else. Yeah, I think that's probably the best option. Out of uh, out of well, we'll get told if we're wrong. Yeah. Literally nothing else matches this to the... Uh... But yeah, Bright just coincidentally clicks on a random thing and they happen to click on Black Mold, the thing that they said at the start, even though it makes no sense. Yeah, no, I was just clicking mm -hmm. randomly. Mm -hmm. Right. Sure. Oh. Please help me. The police refused to do anything. They told me to call you. So please say you can help. My, my little boy, Jeremy, has gone missing. He's eight years old. He's oh, no. Such a sweet heart. The last time I saw I think this could be two, this could be two of them. Night. It's probably floor roots. Yeah, oh, I think the book the... says, meanwhile, I'm refraining from letting on too much because I have the answer key. Yeah, it wouldn't be false for, even though they do the same thing, like taking children, because they're outside. Yeah. yeah. And floor roots are on the inside, and they can, and they disappear, like, say, they disappear all the place. I was the house on it. By morning, the dolls and roots should be gone. Or we should think of it once more. So, the roots will disappear once they get their victim. Well, okay. It might not be floor... It might be not be floor roots, though, because there's other things that also disappear cho children. I forgot what they were. But, yeah. She says, sorry, lady, but you got the wrong number. Well, isn't the only... Two that disappeared children, the false roses and the roots. Mm -mm. No, th there was another one. Um, there was there was one that, yeah, there was another one. I if I remember correctly. I, yeah, th there was one that like uh took the took oh, the false um, artifact. Yeah, false artifact. Oh right. Oh yeah, bees, buzzing sounds. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, it's so false, false artifact. Yeah, false it's artifact. false artifact. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. You guys are lucky. You both are lucky I was here. <laughs> yeah. Actually, no, that, means that woman is Which means that kid now. could be saved, because it takes them years to digest. Mm-hmm. Well, it could be yeah. saved, but yeah, we, they have to worry about the kid getting uh, suffocated. Yeah, as well as trauma. Job, they survive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm concerned somewhat about the stability of my new home. I recently finalized the purchase, and naturally afterwards found that there are several large cracks in the walls of the basement that were not previously disclosed, as well as several pieces of half-eaten cheese littered across the basement floor. I haven't been able to get in contact mm -hmm. with the previous owners about this, and I'm wondering if you can offer any kind of legal advice. Uh, probably Please fractured. Hold. Fracture hobs isn't the way to abate them with cheese. 
Slice of any kind oh, of cheese, yeah. each night before going to bed. Yeah, it's fracture hob. Who says I didn't do it? Are you sure it's you? I, uh, I, don't, sure I don't know. That fracture, that fracture hob kind of looks like a... Kind of looks like cheese. Oh my All god. for legal advice. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, and, and the lawyer is just the, uh, another hob. It's a lawyer hob. Oh my god. Now so you're you assuming that just because I'm a mouse, I like cheese? Yes. Uh, no, I'm I'm saying it because, well, one, Wait, you're the one who Chew, brought up cheese. Chu, you, you, you were the... Brought it up. So you're the one who is assuming that you, <laughs> you like cheese. Mouse racism. You committed... You committed auto mouse racism. Yeah. Anyways. Oh my god. Next call. Mousist. Auto auto mouse racism. This is definitely an anomaly. What? Why? Why? What Why? Why did you even feel the need to say this is definitely an anomaly? No shit. I, I heard it because I heard like this uh, in the background. There was other things talking. Right. Yeah. It was kind of. Obvious. It's always. It's like. Like, they have similar photos every time. They always start by saying some weird ass name like Gub Goober. So, that, which means I'm probably going to be killed by it. How the what? Where did you get that what? reasoning? What? What the fuck? I wouldn't. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Right. I don't like that. Uh, answer. Come on, answer. Hey, so my doctor told me I should call this number. I have no idea why. He won't tell me anything. He said you could help, so here goes nothing, I guess. Um, so I've recently been having just the worst headaches, and just barely I woke up and felt my eyes were starting to look kind of pink. I'm really freaked uh, out right now, and I'm not sure what I have. I can't find anything online. Can you help me? The Fae flu. Please hold. Yeah, it was, wasn't it like pink eyes? Um. Oh yeah, network error. That's what happened. Doesn't mean I don't so, like yes. that. Which means we're <laughs> still not on a timer. School. Which is good. Yeah. That's the one thing I was worried about. E. Why are you trying to play when there's a network error? Imagine if you were able to get, get into the... Uh... Oh, now we gotta test our brains. Here we go. You gotta tell me what's going on inside my home, okay? I'm freaking out over here! There's holes all over my freaking house, man! Freaking holes! I'm stepping around big wooden splinters! There's no telling how much damage there is! I've got this big gaping one in my kitchen that I have no idea how freaking deep it goes! To top it all off, my skittish little greyhound goblin is nowhere to be found! She probably took off after seeing this mess. I need help. Oh. Bad. Oh, I, I, I know what. Okay. Please hold. Who says this? don't <laughs> say it? A whole bunch of holes. It feel. It feels like okay. So this one feels like that. Uh, what was it called? The unicorn horn thing. 
Why would why would no nope. why would Oh yeah, it makes uh, them mm -hmm. dig. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. Unicorn fungi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna At first something. I was confused and I was like, oh wait, yeah. Don't bring attention to all the gaping holes. Yeah, it has to be unicorn. Good catch there. And also the dog. It also uh, like Yeah. I think one of the things that's gonna be really bad is if we get a network error. And we have a bunch of metamorphous creatures to worry about. Mm. How I've, long is this game supposed to be? It said an hour. But we've it's been, been more doing... Than it, it's probably... Also... Well, that's probably not by reading everything. But we've been reading everything. Two more days. Oh, book says two more days? Okay. Yeah. So we're almost done. to my living room. I'm back from vacation and the house is already turning into a disaster not 24 hours later and my living room is absolutely covered in soil and plants. Okay, Looks soon like Hatchie, you're going to have to read my messages sure, because my phone's going to die. There. What is happening? Is, is this what happens when you buy a bad rug or something? Travel now. Right, you should, you should charge Travel your now. phone. Yeah, one, charge your phone. Two, Nothing's changed because you're not oh. reading chat anyway. <laughs> Fuck you. Anyways, I'll be right back. Okay, so this, yeah, this is definitely the gnome. <laughs> yeah, this is a travel gnome. You just gotta get used to the travel gnome. They, they do, they set up shop. <laughs> oh, Stadge, only Hatchet cares. Oh my god, Bright's. Bright's uh uh model looks like she just fucking passed out. He was back. Hey Chu. We have an instance of the travel gnomes. Yep. God, I really need to get a fucking seat cushion for my chair. Also get this Chu. Bright said that I'm going to have to read that for them now because their phone's about to die. And I don't have a Nothing's second... Nothing's changed. Nothing's changed. I've been reading chat for you regardless. Shut up. No. <laughs> so, I think either the next day or the final day we're gonna get metamorphous stuff to deal with. Or both. Oh yeah, or both. Or neither. <laughs> it sounds like a skill issue, Bright, and charging your phone is going to be a skill. <laughs> it was actually fully charged when I started stream. <clears throat> skill issue. There's something... There's something in my basement. I don't know what it is. All I know is when I open my basement door, it smells like a damn sewer, and I can hear it making all kinds of horrible noises. Sounds like there might be a lot of water down there too. I don't know what it might be One doing the down cellar there, but I have ones. a feeling it's causing a whole lot of damage. Oh wait, no, Please I know what it is. Send somebody to help with this. I can't deal with something like this. I have a feeling. Oh. Please hold. It's uh, the Probably cellar gross. Oh, uh, I was thinking cellar grotto. That was the one you had to give the gold, I think. Well, yeah, but why would... Uh, that was in the solution. I put, I think it was more like... But I think in the Summer Grotto, it was building more like a cave-like habitat. It smells like a sewer. Yeah. Mm. And there's also water. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Which grotto? Yeah, I guess I got a silver grotto. <laughs> this one's probably the one that we're gonna get wrong. Yeah. Oh, hundred percent. Oh, oh no, we got fuck. it. Hell yeah. That one, last one was a bit hard because it could have been a couple. 
It was close to some things. No new video. You got something in the mailbox. What the? Don't come to the hole. The hole has been breached. I repeat, the hole has been breached. It's not safe here. I must find a new spot. It knows I'm here. Okay, so now I'm waiting about five seconds for Chu to say something about holes being breached. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, yep, Chu. <laughs> Chu says, hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Regarding your schedule this week, due to a shortage of available staff, we need you to come in for work this Saturday and Sunday. Thanks for being a team player. Rest assured your additional labors will be recognized. Chu says, looks behind me. Uh, Book says, uh, yep, good job. Thank Hatchet for bailing your ass out on the last <laughs> Yeah. Nope, my hole has unfortunately not been reached. Oh my gosh. Tamed River Root. Congratulations, employee. Your high accuracy rate has been awarded to you daily coupon. Today's daily coupon is for Tamed River Root. Plucked and tamed straight from the waters from within the undersoil, this river root is reliable as they come. Their gentle high frequency cries are guaranteed to keep your garden safe from from all manner of pests and predators. Just don't forget to keep them well watered and well monitored. To receive your discount, simply type the following code during your online checkout. Root in for you. Oh, you both break God. Oh, God. Oh, God. You were cutting and... out like every... Oh. Right? Oh. You were cutting out like every other word. <laughs> Almost every other word. It's fucking Discord. Jesus. Sorry, I'm just getting fucking annoyed with Discord. And it's stupid fucking audio issues. I hate it so much. Anyways. Start the next day. Friday. Wait, the book course only had two days, but they said I work Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. Which means I'm most likely going to die. Well, no, you're going to be done. It's... You're going to be done working on Sunday. It doesn't mean you're going to die. Or I die. It doesn't mean you're going to die necessarily. We'll find out. They you don't could show get, you could new fired. things. In... Oh, true. They don't show new things until... We never read House Spider, I think. Oh, the little friend. Wait, we should probably take that off screen, because two. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Let's see what new shit we're getting. Hello. Supervisor Carol here. Thine accuracy continues to impress those of us above and below the soil. What? I have updated your permissions once more. Keep up the great work, employee. <laughs> Our eyes rest soundly upon me. Wait, animation? Okay. Oh, what There's the thing fuck? Sunday. There's a thing Sunday, but no more cases. Ah. This book. Animations are... Oh, God damn it! <laughs> there were Satan worshippers in my shed. I think it might be my <laughs> Oh god. He's been gone for days now, and the next thing you know, I find a dang tree growing in my shed. The tree is all covered in torn up fabric and some kind of black liquid. Classic Satanistic ritual crap, I assume. But tell me what That's I definitely a new thing. Off my property. Please hold. Animations are, are any miniature humanoid figures such as dolls, puppets, or marionettes. They are capable of moving on their own. Homeowners with animations most commonly report hearing clattering noises at night and missing or stolen household objects. Animations are usually not directly dangerous to humans and will ignore, will ignore them entirely as they go about their business. But their presence in, in, in a household may indicate the interest of other potentially dangerous parties. Uh-oh. Stu says, 
I say feed her to it. Book says, yup, feed her to Satan. A closet so lap. So intentionally get it wrong. Okay. That's a bad idea. Oh. A back rooms area. Anyway, I'm sorry. Closet rabbits labyrinths are large twisting networks of tunnels that are known to occasionally appear inside the closets or wardrobes of wealthy homeowners or left behind in homes once owned by wealthy homeowners with closet labyrinths will often report missing clothes or sounds of distant cries coming from their closet closet labyrinths are incredibly easy to get lost in by design and can prove especially hazardous to homeowners carrying valuable items such as gold precious silk or rare spices on their person they are otherwise harmless to those who do not enter their domain. Oh, oh! If anyone comes with these, I don't, I don't really care about them. Yeah, a dream weaver. Oh my goodness! Dream weavers are large spider-like creatures known to weave dreams into reality. They also are known to cause nearby humans to to only dream about everything being covered in webs. They will only move into a household if no other spiders are present. Dream weavers are very parasitic in nature and feed off the dreams of humans while they sleep. While this does not cause any direct harm to humans, it can lead to increased anxiety and large webs they weave can often trap dust, pets, and children, causing further complications. Who says why would you ever go in those? I'm yeah. guessing that's referring to the labyrinth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To remove a dream weaver from a household, homeowners should refrain from sleeping for as long as possible in order to starve the creature and encourage it to find a new home. Dream weavers often attempt to, to induce sleep by ensnaring homeowners, injecting them with sleep inducing venom. Do not let them do this. Wait, how? Right. Yeah, just get good. Don't don't let them don't let them abduct you and drug you. Yeah. False flowers are long. Oh, this is probably it. Yeah. False flowers are, are long, slender creatures that vaguely resemble common house plants. They are known to take root in indoor potted plants, disguise themselves among the flowers. Homeowners often report hearing faint singing. False flowers are harmless if left to their own devices. However, if homeowners attempt to disrupt or remove them, they will often lash out by spreading. Spraying a toxic chemical known oh, to cause blindness or loss of sight. False flowers are not to be disturbed once they are taking root. Water regularly and try not to notice their presence. Ignore their singing. Uh, oh, a damn. kobold. Kobold? I I hear about I hear about those in all of the Dungeons and Dragons furry stuff. Kobolds are and five. Porn. Uh, kobolds are five foot tall humanoid creatures with dog like faces that are known to burrow into dark rooms or strange closets and, and make them their home. Homeowners and festive kobolds will sometimes report broken floorboards. <coughs> kobolds serve dragons. Uh, Aderna, can you confirm or deny this statement? Wait, what? What was the statement? Who says kobolds serve dragons and, and bright, not bright, books says yep. <laughs> Kobolds are harmless to humans. I will not. Uh, I will not confirm or deny that statement. Yeah. Anyways, kobolds mm. are harmless to humans until they are discovered, at which point they will often lash out violently to protect their home, causing injury or even death. If discovered, kobolds will attempt to lure humans into their space by poking their dog-like heads out of, out from behind corners and whimpering. Do not ever enter a kobold's domain. One should not attempt to remove a kobold from their home. It is strongly advised to hire professionals and utilize HSH's pest removal service. Who says typically doesn't end well, or maybe it does depending on your perspective? Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> a rain nymph. Oh, I don't like that on the window. Mmm. Big hand. Rain nymphs are a subspecies of nymph. They are most active during rainstorms. They are faint humanoids with a glow in their eyes that, that often appear near windows and doors asking to be let inside. Homeowners afflicted with rain nymphs will often report flooding. The floods rain nymphs can cause can, can lead to water damage which can, but can be both costly and dangerous to a home. <coughs> rain nymphs are very preventable in that their pleas to be let inside can simply 
be ignored. It is advised to stay away from doors and windows during rainstorms to avoid having to endure rain of various temptations and threats. Oh, let's read Spring, spring Tree first. Yeah. Spring Tree first? Okay, I guess I'll go to Spring Tree. Yeah. Spring Tree. Spring tree. Spring trees yeah. are a rapidly growing tree like organism that takes fruit in the human body. They are known to cause structural damage to a home as they continue to grow, generally reaching their full size in a matter of days. They are known because by the touch of a spriggan. Spr spring trees are incredibly deadly to those infected and result in death once they have reached a certain size. Anyone near a spring tree will, while it is growing in an outdoor lo indoor location it's also a risk of injury or death from structural damage that will occur as it grows. There's no cure for a spring tree. The infected individual should be quarantined while any others occupying households should be vacated the premise immediately. Do not touch an infected person or black or the black substance that leaks from from them under any circumstance. Begin looking for a new home and arrange any funeral service as needed for an infected individual. Okay, so yeah, it's a spring tree. Anyways. Yes. Aww. <coughs> it's a soap sprite. Soap sprites are a so subspecies of sprite that are known for consuming bacteria and harmful microbes. This kid is dead. They frequently occupy bathrooms appearing similar to pink bars of soap in order to feed off the hands that use them. They secrete a suds like substance that is used to digest their meals. Soap sprites, despite their bacteria eating lifestyle, are frequently known to spread deadly diseases such as fey flu to humans who handle them, making them a serious household hazard. Oh. Kid had a skill issue, yep, got touched by a spriggan. Yeah. Which is probably what entry inaccessible is right here, spriggan. Yeah. Sprig vines are rapidly growing oh, vines that are known to quickly consume a house to block off exits. They are often a sign that a spriggan has been provoked. Uh oh. Bitch, Spr that's just kudzu. Yeah. <laughs> My state deals with it on the daily. Anyways. Sprig vines are not dangerous on their own and can be cut through with common gardening tools. However, their tendency to block exits can create struggles when needed to exit the house in a hurry, such as. In the case of fl uh, floods, fires, or spriggan in pursuit, sprig vines can grow continue to grow so long as a spriggan that made them desires it. It is advised to vacate and re home as soon as possible. The last one, a trash gnome. Oh my god. <laughs> it's got a little frog face. <laughs> Trash gnomes are a subspecies of gnome with thick brownish gray fur, frog-like eyes, and large gaping mouths. They are known to seek out trash receptacles and burrow inside them for both flood and shelter. Homeowners with trash gnomes often Ooh, report it's food. <laughs> uh, both food and shelter. Flood and shelter. <laughs> Shut up. Homeowners with trash gnomes often report the smell of rotten eggs, finding large clumps of fur throughout the house. Tipped garbage cans and loud crunching sounds at night. Trash gnomes are highly territorial once homed. While their bite is not fatal, it can often lead to inconvenient and painful circumstances, such as the loss of a finger or nose while attempting to discard trash or remove a trash bag from a receptacle. They are also capable of spreading deadly diseases to humans, such as rabies or tetanus. Oh my god. To prevent a trash note from homing inside your trash, it is recommended to not let trash in the home be idle for more than a day or two, as their noses are highly sensitive to the smell. To remove a trash note permanently, it is highly advised. Yeah, it uses services. Yeah, we already know what it is. It's a, it's a spring tree. It's a new boy. Tetanus it's isn't that bad. Don't be a baby. Isn't tetanus, like, a pretty serious disease? Yeah. Oh, gee, is it a trash gnome or just a raccoon? <laughs> I feel like the trash gnomes would get along with the food. Yeah. Alright. Hey, I called last week about some noises in my house, and after following the instructions you sent me, they still seem to be happening. 
I already told you guys what was happening, but uh, <laughs> the short story is that every night I'm hearing clattering noises coming from the kitchen. In the morning, I usually check the kitchen for any signs of droppings or whatever, but the place looks spotless. Can you please tell me what's actually happening so I can get some sleep? This sounds like a common... Please hold. A common, um... Hob. This sounds like a hob. Oh, is there... It doesn't mention cleaning? Yeah, Shark says that it happened. I already... Uh, hear clattering noises in the kitchen. In the morning, I usually check the kitchen signs of traffic cover, but it the place looks spotless. So it's just clattering noises in the kitchen. I can't think of anything else. What does the animation do again? It, it steals stuff. Uh, and plus, you don't want one in the house for too long, because the longer they're there, the more danger you're in. Commonly report hearing clattering noises at night and missing... and missing their stolen household objects. It didn't mention anything... S stolen. Missing. Why does he look like Stephen Colbert? <laughs> oh no, it kind of does. I mean, we can probably go with animation. No, it's no, not. I it's gonna, it's not gonna be animation. Oh, I need to go do a couple things, so I'll be back. Okay. I'm still kind of thinking, come and hop. The only one I could think of. Oh yeah, now it, that means I can No one will read chat for me. Oh no. I'm gonna go with Common Hob. I think it's one of the new ones. The then the false flower. Could be the false flower. Yeah. Ignore their singing. I think it might be a false flower. Hmm. Go with it. I'm going with my gut. That's typically not a good idea. What do you agree? I know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Like with your track record, I that's not a good. Yeah.
There we go. Finally. Hey, Flipper here. I got two dumbbells that I bought from you that need a good spit shine. Know what I mean? I mean, these bells have got all kinds of grit, grime, grease. Can't even see my face in them when I'm deadlifting. Know what I mean? I mean, I'm looking at these bells right now here. I'm seeing the uh, spit crud juice and that. Hey, who, who are you? How did you get in? Hey, now, now easy there. Get away. Get away. Okay, that definitely confirms, uh, uh, confirms that this is a dangerous entity. Hello, Supervisor Carol here. I noticed that you've been experiencing regular disruptive calls from a false caller with ulterior motives. I've seen to it that this false caller shall no longer be a blight upon me. Keep up the good work, employee. Yeah, that still doesn't sound great for me because I get the feeling it might know where I'm at. I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that phone call. You need to use your job properly. Oh my god, she's some kind of insect in my house, and I, I think it may have died. Uh, I saw this big, nasty thing fly in through the window, and I haven't been able to find it anywhere, but I, I think maybe it electrocuted itself somewhere because I can smell this awful burning scent throughout the house. Can someone come find this thing and get it out of my house? Please hold. Oh, what was that called? There was like this. Um, there was this one new one that was like a bunch of bug shit. The seedlings. I think that's what this is. It's too late now. But that's what I think this is. I think this is a seedling because it was talking about it was like a. A cluster of bugs, and I think it was like a nasty smell. I think, if I remember correctly. Mm. I don't think it was a seedling. Well, it's not like we can check now. Mm. Right, right. You, uh, for fucking gods. You know we can still see all of the like names of stuff too, right? Oh my god. Repressing my name is Mark of Flyer and she, she here today with the weird implication. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought it would be in. I thought it would be in Help. <laughs> Please hold. I know what that one is. Wait. So you, you got the seedling one wrong. Oh, I did. Yeah. What was it? Oh, it was, uh, a lamp sprite. Uh, it was a lamp sprite. Oh, okay. I don't remember what the lamp sprite was. But anyways, I know what this one is. Because it was wrapped tendrils and it around her and took her and disappeared. That is a hundred percent four roots. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh right. Uh Chu said carefully reread reread what was said. Yeah, it's a took my daughter, she's gone. It wrapped its 
awful tendrils around her and took her down with it. I saw with my own eyes. Hey, please send help. The police won't do anything about anything. Send help. It sounds a lot like floor roofs. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, she. Yeah, she is rushing a bit too much. I listened to the entire thing. Well, the darn was talking to chat. I you're rushing. Everything. You're rushing on the like this on the like decisions. That's right. what it is. Right, another one. Wait, the correct answer. So did you uh, I was just turning off one of my Wait, lamps. What? It, it latched on and it bit me. What was that thing? Oh, why do I feel sick? Am I gonna die? It's back. Get away, you nasty thing! Oh, he's dead. Damn. But I don't care. I like killing people. B right. <sighs> it, 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 it stole me! It stole me! I'm... I'm not me anymore! I'm... It, 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 it took me! It took me! I can't see myself anymore! Me or no. I'm gone! Oh, Help me! Yeah. Help at first, I was also I was thinking about the memory thing, but the second it says I can't see myself anymore, mirror him. Well, it, yeah. it's the stole me thing. That's the. Yeah. Oh wait, we got our things back. N n no. No, like it's oh. it doesn't show like. A okay. Error thing right here. I can read the mirror nymph. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what I meant when I said when we got our things back. Network error is gone. That's what I was trying to so, say. Uh, yeah, I would. Unless I just uh, caused the glitch to happen. You don't need her face? Oh my god, shoot. Sure. Nope. I think some homeless or druggies might be in my house because I keep finding used needles, cans, metal scraps, I already know what this is. Things on my living room carpet. It's the whore. Oh, yeah. I have children in this house. And this yeah, so it's me. Sorry. Sorry, <laughs> you know, I got into this person's house and started put, so placing a hoard. Yeah, this this one's easy. This one's the whole. Please hold. Uh huh. The second yeah, they say she is she is she is a piece of shit. Yeah. Who? Should we tell her to do something else? No, Should we no, tell her something just... else? I'd rather not just. No, I'm telling her it's the fucking horde. What 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 was with your like you want? Pe why would what was with your like I like killing people thing then, right? See, I I like killing people, but I want to play it off like an accident. What? That way you they don't get, off like that way they don't uh, uh, count the murder to me. That was fast. security camera I can purchase from you guys. For the last few nights, we haven't gotten any sleep thanks to some punks outside with flashlights or something. Someone keeps flashing these bright lights through our windows at night, but I, I know it, it is my friend's name. I want to catch them on camera so I can finally bust these stupid teens for all they're worth. Please hold. I forgot what his fucking name is. Is it the Night Wisp? Night Wisps. Here it is. Form of bright, floating lights. Known to hover outside windows. Night Whispering forms of fortune. 
Yeah, it's these, because it says right here. This is a few nights we haven't gotten any sleep thanks to these some punks outside of flashing lights or something. Yeah, it's Night Wisp. You're speaking to your PC, yeah. Buddy, just go <laughs> What's going on now? To be fair, that would probably be like. Isn't that like one of the right things? In it? No. I'm, what happened? I'm confused. All right, I'm back. Oh, hi, Hatchet. I was talking. Hmm. Adara? I was talking to chat. Oh. Okay, so Derny, you've been reading chat, so mm -hmm. I don't have to go back and read everything I've missed. Yeah. Right. Anyways. Hey, uh, so... Wait, what the fuck? My scroll up and says Markiplier died. Oh. Oh, I know what this one is. So nice. Just, just let her go through it. <laughs> That's names. Not the closet labyrinth. But... No, it's not the closet labyrinth. It has oh. to do with the uh, under the cellar yeah. thing. It's a cellar thing or something. I don't remember what it's but it's portal. Oh right, yeah, it's the portal. portal. Yeah. I said it already. Yeah, it's portal. Yes. It has to do with the cellar, so like that's why my brain went there. Now you're thinking with portals, says book. Oh look, it's it's a game that's apparently popular for two people to play on Steam. Portal. says bathroom squid leave it be it friend splatoon bathroom mm -hmm. he was talking y'all didn't end up getting through an entire day while I was gone did you no 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 it's not the soap spray yeah I'm trying to figure out what it would be. This is the last case of the day, so it's book. Okay. And Bright did get one of them wrong. Hatch. Only one. Yes, but mm. because you fucking, like, went right ahead and went without even fucking discussing it. What would Damn. I can't I'm think of anything with tentacles or tendrils. Well, I mean, there's like the plant things, but I doubt that's what it is. Yeah, I mm. doubt it's what it is, because it's not good with light. It's not four roots. Yeah, she got the lamp sprite wrong, so she got killed. Red. Oh, she. Yeah, she got somebody killed. And I don't care. She says, also, Chu has noticed that they are no longer getting mundane calls, only Eldritch abominations. Which means I was correct no, with the seedling, hat, uh, Adara. 
No, you were wrong about it. Oh, wait. Is that one of my... Oh, that's right. The that's right... the one you got wrong. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was something else. No, that was the one you got wrong. Oh, no one. Could it be the toilet hub? Toilet hub? Wispy hair on each side of their heads. Oh, they're only active at night. This is the only one I can think of. Oh, well, let's look at some more things. Just make sure. Can you read the thing again? Mm -hmm. Wait, you can play it again. This might, like, sound strange, but I think there's some kind of, like, squid or something in my bathroom. Like, I went into the bathroom in the middle of the night last night, you know, and I could see something slithering under near the sink with its, like, uh, little tentacle or, like, tendrils or, you know, whatever. But when I turned on the lights, nothing was there. <laughs> I checked under the towel, like, under, you know, like, that little soap thing and everything, but I know it's somewhere. Like, it's too freaking big to have gone down the drain. Still got to in here. I can't think of anything else. Book says, uh, no, I think you switched on the seedling. You didn't choose the seedling for anything. Chulo, bright read, so no, no. cute. <coughs> yeah, uh, bright did choose the, the seedling. Oh, wait, I might have, like, got her off of that for one of them. But yeah, she, She's... I think, yeah, I think she did, did choose the seedling for that one. Yeah. I remember correctly. She says, right, look at the image for the soap spray. For which one? Soap spray. Soap spray. <laughs> Tendrils. Yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't it doesn't say anything about it like leaving. Mm -hmm. Oh, they can be identified and removed as soon as possible. Okay. Which means, yeah, they can die if we get this wrong, and it is a soap sprite. Like so, they they could die if they yeah, if you get it wrong the other the other way if it's the man thing they get. She, she says scroll down on the text for the call. Oh, uh, middle of the night last night. Oh, middle of the night. Wait a minute. Why would mm -hmm. the toilet hob leak? It's not even in the toilet. It's active at night. And it's too freaking big, so yeah, it wouldn't be the sea spray. It wouldn't be the, uh, it wouldn't be the, it wouldn't be the, like, soap spray because I don't think that it's that big. It's too big to have gone down the drain. She says, read the whole call out loud carefully. Like that That's little amazing. soap thing. Okay. Yeah. Oh. It's the soap sprite. 
<laughs> okay. Hatchet was right. Oh, my head. I think we all just missed the, like, soap thing. 90%, <laughs> we only got one wrong. So, yeah, it was soap sprite. Oh, yeah, you missed it. We got our, the final phone call from that guy who's doing the fake names and whatnot. Wait, um, what the fuck? What the fuck? Hmm? Was there a person always right there? I don't think so. What? Um... It says I've been saying soap sprite for several minutes. Yeah, but anyways, we got the final phone call, and near the end, it was like the, this other person came on and said, "Like, hey, what the what the hell are you doing here?" And then they were saying, no, get away from me. And then we just hear sounds. And the phone ends. So whoever was calling us was hostile. Wait, what do you mean they were hostile? They most likely killed a person on the other end of the phone when they, when they were saying, because they were yelling out, get away from me. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why I said they're hostile. Anyway, we got a video. Thunder Peak. Great American Hikes. Brought to you by the Home Safety Hotline. Thunder Peak. Thunder Peak is one of America's most dangerous yet rewarding hiking locations. <coughs> In this guide, we'll show you how you can be the best prepared for one of nature's most beautiful trails. <coughs> Sorry about that. Supplies. A gun. She says wait. As with any hiking trail, you want to ensure you can prepare with supplies to help you meet the demanding physical trails ahead. I mean, trials ahead. Make sure to bring hiking boots, a gun, water bottle. Is the game a reference to Gemini Home Entertainment? I don't know. Iron Sword. Seems unnecessary. Climbing gloves. Yeah, guns are more useful. They can do short and long distance. If you want to have access to all of these materials, be sure to consult one of the Thunder Peak Park guides before embarking. Wait, so hey, these man, guys just carry swords? swords? Hey, can you give me a sword? I gotta go hiking. Yeah. This trail. I don't know redeemed hydrate and stretch. Alright, I will. Thunder Peak is a straightforward but steep trail consisting most of the switchbacks leading through Natural Cave and fi finally a short climb up the Christine Peak. <sighs> right, dead bow. Pace yourself as you progress. This boat conserves energy and helps you appreciate the scenery around you. Be sure to stop and read and post signs. Oh, okay. See the red and yellow lines. That means you're in a high rock pile area. Travel with caution. Why would you walk down that path? Because there's no, because there's no other path. Yeah. Once you enter the quiet zone, remain completely silent. Once you enter the quiet zone. Oh. As you push the cave entrance, remove your hiking boots. What? What? Wait, that what? sounds like a god awful idea. She says that's another famous 
analog horror series that deals a lot with monsters that look like natural. Enter the cave. Wait a minute. Why would a cave have a door like that? In the box. I mean, some caves do. This cave does. Well, people in different When inside the cave, move carefully and quietly. Do not stop. And a lot of the videos take the form of infomercials like this. Ah. Uh, well, I have no idea, Jew. Follow the lights. Do not stray. Holy shit, this is like Gemini Home Entertainment. Ah. Yeah. Uh. If you hear the sound, stay still and unsheathe your sword. Well, this person's dead. Not if they stayed silent and unsheathed their sword, they're not. Oh, uh, once you exit the cave, put on your boots and gloves for the final climb to the peak. Wait, 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 wait. How would you so have your- wait. You made it. Huh? I mean, now enjoy the I, view. I'm guessing you take them with you. Yeah. I guess. Why would you just leave your boots behind? I, I really don't like that this is here, right here. Just a person. It's fine. There's nothing there. The address is no longer at. Hello, if you're receiving this email, it's because you've been email emailed by this address before. The, the employee, this this address is searches to is no longer employed at the state home safety hotline as of April 30th, 1996. This address will be shut down and no longer able to send or receive email messages. Use for HSA. H, we say, blah, blah, blah. I. <laughs> I. Oh my god. <laughs> <coughs> You just click on it. I did. Nothing happens. Source cruelty free from the parish and treated with our flower scented formula. These are the best quality hack hides you'll find this month only. We'll even throw in an iron wall mount free of charge. Let the whispers keep your bed the safe haven it should be. Sleep easier, sleep safer. Um, you meant the person. And she's oh. also berating you for not reading chat. I can't read chat. You, no, just click on the old hag. I tried clicking on the hag. I just said I did. You didn't click on the hag. Wrong thing. Wait, what? What are you talking about? I there's nothing else to click. Did you actually click on the hag? Okay. On the name hag. Yes. You can't. There's nothing. You can't actually go to the sites or anything. Mm. Anyway, so start the next shift. Oh, she says click the person on the home stream. I already did I that mean, multiple times. Right, did try that. Yeah. Head plane. I have that too. Anyways. I've been suffering this whole time. Anyways, we're probably gonna get new shit. No shit. We have almost everything now. Yeah, and this is like the last day with stuff happening, so... So this is probably an, all the metamorphous stuff is gonna come out. Or... Park employee, lend thine ear once more. Supervisor Carol here again. I've updated thy permissions to grant thee access to all relevant household hazard information. Continue thy labors, employee. Soon thy time in the soil arriveth. Prepare thy body. I don't like that. 
With all the old English too, plus the sword thing. Yeah. Autumn vines. Oh god. <laughs> Oh, I already know what this is. Stupid thing is this is the wine, it. the wine bitch. Please hold. Anyway, autumn vines are vines with orange or red leaves that are known to slowly grow over a house, frequently occurring during the fall. Homeowners of autumn vines often report di uh, feeling dizzy, lightheaded, or blissful. The pheromones autumn vines release in the air, while not toxic can often lead household accidents thanks to their blissful disease effects. Oh. Oh, we finally get the final bed thing, the bed hag. Oh, the I don't like hag? that. I don't like that. Oh. Bed hags oh, no. are large humanoid creatures with an elderly woman-like appearance. They are known to dwell beneath beds, hammocks, and other suspended sleeping apparatus. Homeowners infested with bed hags will, will sometimes report croaking or wheezing sounds at night or a feeling of a heavy weight on their chest at night. Bed hags are not dangerous to most healthy human adults, but the, the small children and humans suffering from breathing problems such as asthma may be adversely affected by their presence. Bed hags are known to steal the breath of their sleeping subjects at night, causing a shortness of breath and sometimes sleep paralysis. Who says sleep over and listen to audio sample? Yeah, I will in a moment. Bed hags can in fact be beneficial to a home, as their presence can frighten off other pests such as various insects or mice. In the cases where a bed hag is undesirable, it is advised you know to call them. That's normal. Uh, a Dorsha? Oh, what the fuck is that? I was gonna say, why do you keep talking about metamorphosis? We already have that. Well, I wasn't sure if the, uh, the bee bitch, the one up here, the, the Bogart is the, the only metamor metamorphosis. <laughs> um. I wasn't sure. Well, you keep, like, you say you wasn't sure, but you were talking very confidently as if there was yeah. more. Mm -hmm. I, was, yeah. I, I, would, I was figuring there would be more, because there was different creatures that would metamorphose, and I thought they would metamorphose differently. I don't know. Anyways. Dorsha is the one who delivers. Homeowners experiencing Dorsha com commonly report feelings of immense dread and the sensation of being followed or pursued. We may also experience visions of a great lurking shadow. Dorsha will deliver that which it seeks. There is no coming back from deliverance. Dorsha is otherwise harmless to humans it does not seek. To be sought by Dorsha is, be is to be found by Dorsha. If you or a loved one are sought by Dorsha, it is advised to grieve and find peace through acceptance. I don't like that. Damn. Oh my... Okay. Okay. The leprechaun. I was not expecting that. Why? What? <laughs> you just weren't expecting the leprechaun? No, I wasn't expecting the leprechaun to look like that. I thought they were going to do like the, oh. the usual attire most people refer to leprechauns really? as. They haven't done that with most of them, so why would they do that with... Huh? I don't know. Anyways, leprechauns are small humanoids covered in long brown hair that are known for consuming common household valuables such as jewelry, silverware, and other precious metals. In addition to being a household nuisance, the leprechaun's appetite for precious metals can also cause long-term damage to heaters, furnaces, and other common appliances if they do not properly if they are not properly protected. <sighs> Additionally, leprechauns can occasionally cause direct harm to humans in cases where homeowners have metallic medical implants such as braces, crowns, or joint replacements. Yeah. I 
I see. Neighbor's doorway. Uh, Chu says you're using the wrong tense of metamorphosis. Uh, oh. OMG just fucking accepted. OMG just fucking accept Dorsha. Dorsha's death will no. It's the grumpy old troll that lives under the bridge, like in Dora the Explorer. We have to solve its riddle. Do you see the grumpy old troll that lives under the bridge? Where? Oh God. Shush. Anyways. Neighbors' doorways are door frame like structures that can often appear in basements or cellars. They are known to cause confusion as step through as well as parallelism. Paralysis. What? Paralysis. Not. Ray. Parallelism. Parallelism. Per it's not parallelism. parallelism. It's not. Yeah, no, it's, it's not, not paralysis. paralysis. It's parallel parallelism. Uh, par so paralysis this... would make sense, but what the fuck is what? So then this okay. is just some fake shit. Okay. Yeah. Neighbors' doorway do, do not cause any direct harm to humans, but a step through the resulting para parallelism will often result in unwanted household activities such as altered behavior or perceived missing memories and a human who comes through the other side. Oh. A puka. A puka? What's a puka? Oh my gosh, a puka. That's that's a puka. You know what this is reminding me of? It's reminding me of Puppy uh, puppy Monkey Baby. <laughs> oh my god! This is what happens when you don't give your dog enough treats. Dog shows up in the middle of the night, it's like, Where are the treats? Now! Yeah. Pookas are shapeless creatures that are commonly inhabited homes in shape of, and likeness of household pet. They are known for their tendency to replace common pets such as dogs or cats and live in their place to watch homeowners eat and sleep. Homeowners with pukas frequently report unusual or frightening pet behavior. Pukas are relatively harmless to humans, but the discarded bodies of household pets they leave behind can over time create other pests and, and disease hazards within the home. A foul smell signifies decay and, and the discarded bodies should be found and removed immediately. Oh, so basically when you see this thing, you just got to ignore it, even if it scares you. And Puka will go away. Reanimation. Reanimations are any deceased remains or living creatures capable of moving on their own. Homeowners with reanimations commonly report foul smells, soil being tracked inside the home, and large holes in the ground appearing near or around the home. Reanimations are capable of spreading a wide variety of dangerous diseases and parasites deadly to humans so close proximity or contact should be avoided at all costs. They are also commonly used to inflict direct violence against homeowners and are incredibly adept at hiding and waiting for vulnerable moments. Reanimation's pursuit is slow but re relentless, so relocation is not necessary. Or advisable is advised to contact any friends, neighbors, or strangers the homeowner may find recently sli slighted and make peace and bar or bargain. Uh, let's see. Let so these are basically the zombies. Uh, zombies that are you uh, zombies that are used for revenge. Yeah. Spriggan. Yep, here's a spriggan. Okay. Where is um, it? Um, okay, book says things become parallel. They are straight and will never touch. I don't want to be straight. I used to love that show. This, this is not that show. This isn't Puka. Ah, uh, they eat pets. Puka, a fun cartoon show about a girl with superhuman strength who's in love with a ninja that doesn't love her back. That puka is an abomination. Is rip puka. That this is just a zombie. Oh my gosh. Anyways, 
Okay. Springins are small green humanoids with leaf-like coatings on their bodies. They are seen rarely in households and reside primarily inside trees. They are known to act violently upon ho homeowners when provoked. However, homeowners affected by springins commonly report rapid vine growth in and around their homes and the feeling that the trees are watching them. Oh, I, I think I see. Is that it right there? I'm guessing. Anyways. Springers are incredibly dangerous to human when provoked, and physical contact with one will result in the growth of a sprig tree within the affected individual. Springers cannot be persuaded to leave the home once provoked. However, one can take precautions to prevent provoking a spring in. Refrain from removing trees, flowers, or weeds on your property. Do not ever kill or hunt wildlife within view of your home. Do not eat any wild fruit or vegetable that may grow on your property. Consider making offers of water each night left in a clean dish on your porch. Hmm. And the last two... Placate the spriggan. The troll. Troll. <laughs> Trolls are giant, 12-foot-tall nocturnal creatures that normally are not seen in the home. However, during the winter, they will deflate their bodies in order to fit inside homes and steal warm materials such as blankets or articles of clothing. Homeowners infested with a troll will frequently report missing clothes or clearly hear the shrill sounds of air escaping in the middle of the night. Trolls are very dangerous to humans when they are startled thanks to their ability to inflate their bodies to their full height of 12 feet in a matter of seconds. Their, their skin, despite its flex flexibility, is incredibly durable and will smash through the ceilings of most of most homes when fully inflated, causing property damage and injury to anyone in the vicinity. Do not ever approach a troll. Okay, so okay, she says, so the Spriggan just gives you deep root disease and Gem from Gemini home thing. Oh my gosh. Also, I now can't help but imagine that troll in the picture, yeah. but he's wearing a bra. Oh my god. And he steals he... close. Oh my god. Anyways, an active troll will leave by morning once it has secured its bounty. It is recommended to install repelling fixtures such as UV lights to prevent future break ins. He says, Quick solve its riddle. Its riddle is give me close. The last one <laughs> Warlock <laughs> Remnant. It's... its riddle is mugging you. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Warlock remnants are a residual presence often left behind by former warlocks, most commonly inhabiting other households, castles, or underground dwellings. Homeowners experiencing warlock remnants often report objects moving on their own. <sighs> the sound of hostile warnings, whispers, or sighting, bearded figures, and reflective surfaces. Warlock remnants, while a hostile presence, are mere echoes of their former selves and are generally harmless. Their ability to manipulate small household objects can prove hazardous to less cautious homeowners. However, homeowners can purge the remnant from their home with the use of, of a saline stone, but the journey to retrieve one is both long and perilous and not recommended. If a warlike remnant proves sufficiently hazardous or inconvenient, it is highly recommended for host homeowners to simply relocate. So, right in your brain when reading, yes, is is punctuation just a suggestion to you? Yes, Shut it up. is. Now, granted, I'm like I'm not one to talk. I also get caught up in that flow sometimes, but also. I'm quite. Anyways, I'm quite. I'm kind of like the opposite because I, I, <laughs> I, I kind of like. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, I'm glad someone mentioned the punctuation. It was driving me up the wall. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh no. Office. My kids are overly curious about the smell, so I need to know what to do about this as soon as possible. 
Okay, I think it's the wood thing. Please. Oh, okay. It's the ghost shoes. The wood secretions. It's the wood. The ghost shoes. Yeah. As its foul odor be interpreted as a sweet candy like smell to them, it's wood secretions. The wood is think... coming. Oh my, oh my gosh, Hatchet. Chu says, I kind of want to answer wrong. We're not killing the children, Chu. Yeah, what the fuck, Chu? I'll let the kids have the candy. It's not candy. Mm. Like, oh, let the kids have the candy, and they're pointing to a chunk of granite. Okay, what do we got now? Outside, something is moving around in the trees, and I can never get a good Brilliant. look at them, but I know they're out there. I've seen their eyes. I don't know who they are, but the police were no help. They just asked me stupid questions like if I mowed my lawn recently, or if I ate fruit in public or something, and told me to call you. Hoping you'll be more helpful. This this might be the spriggan'. Yeah, it's definitely the spriggan'. Literally Please said hold. spriggan right as they mention trees. Yeah. But <laughs> also we have uh 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 the way we can hear her panic call back or that way we can hear her panic call back. Book says really you thought she would care about kids. She says isn't that fun? The police reaction is the most realistic part of this. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, what the fuck are the cops gonna do against a Spriggan? Guns. Try to commit, like, try try to commit police brutality against it. They'll just turn into trees. Actually, yeah, that, might, have, that might be a have, good thing. Yeah, have the cops mess with the Spriggan? Yeah. Wait, Spriggans versus incendiary goats and flamethrower goats. Who will win? One is made of wood. The other is play incendiary ghosts. <laughs> the other causes fire. How, how about none? Because the spriggan creates them, makes them sprig trees. Things have never been better around here. My brother says he doesn't like the way the leaves move, the way they grow around the house like a warm embrace. Things are good here, brother. Things are good. Would you tell my brother that things are good? Okay. Oh, that autumn. Oh, yeah. Tell them autumn there's stuff. The the autumn stuff. If you tell them there's a minority in the bushes, then you know they'll respond quickly and with immediate force. Yeah, it's yeah, autumn. Yeah, I can feel blissful I, okay. disease effects. Yeah, it's autumn. Yeah. That's how you get police help in supernatural situations. Hey, I saw, I, I, I saw, like I, I saw. I don't know. My brain hurts. This time is not as difficult. Watch. You just. Do you know how I got here? I'm... I, I'm not where I should be. Please, I was told that you could help me. My family. They aren't my family. I, I don't know what's happened. Please tell me how to get back to my family. <coughs> this is probably the parallelism. Please, oh. I forgot which one they're called. Uh, that that was the new one that did this. the neighbor's door, neighbor's yeah. doorway. No, go look at. Wait, we need to look at other things what? first. Why are sure. you so rash? Is it, it sounds a lot like the neighbor's doorway. 
because I, I don't I don't think any of the other anomalies here will make you think this that a uh, family is their family uh, whatever Is the harm is the stuff there was all the perils and some unwanted right. household right. activity she's missing memories and the human who comes to the other side that's yeah. they, they are known to cause confusion if stepped through the confusion yeah what says or she says well we're all asking how we got here and then book says well the well when two people have sex and get pregnant little humans are the result oh my god oh my god I don't think there's really anything else. That reminds me of... I mean, yeah, that's probably the only thing I could think of, but... They both get pregnant. So is that um, what we're agreeing on? I mean, I guess. I, anyway, um... It just reminds me of... A dumb story I saw... Where someone... Uh, like this, this guy mm -hmm. was excited because he was having his first kid, and uh, um, he's talking to someone, and you know he's talking about it. he's super excited, and a person asks, "Oh, oh, you having a kid? What, what is it?" Like expecting boy or girl, and he said something to the tune of, "It's a human, but smaller." Oh my God. Anyways. Yes, to what? To yes, of course. Uh, uh, the the bussy can Hi. get pregnant. Yeah, there's this awful smell of I rotten eggs coming from Sorry. my dining room, and when I looked to see what it was, I saw this awful, disgusting pile of crap on my dinner table. It's quite big. Oh, too. that's Can't easy. My dog can't even lay down something that big. Get to eat, uh, please. Oh, you, you, you better, <laughs> better fucking eat this. That's. You have to eat it. They Man, feast. I'm sorry to inform you this, but you need to eat it. That was oh so God. fucking easy. It would be. Look, so hitting uh -huh. me for no reason. As we all know. Uh, the, the, as we all know, the CIA tells us that not everyone can get pregnant. Start trying hard enough. I don't know. <laughs> oh my, my head's killing me. I can tell. I'm damn well gonna yeah. try. Itchy kids. It sounds a lot like uh, bed tea. Mm? It is no? not gonna be bed tea. No, it's not bed tea. It's probably gonna be bed bugs. Bed bugs. Mm -hmm. Well, is saying there was the dream something. Oh yeah, there, yeah. There was also the dream. Yeah, it wasn't bed bugs. And but, he said okay. he. And you said, said he, like. like uh, Sorry, what was so, that? You mean the Dreamweaver? Mm -hmm. Yes. Sorry, Hush. Okay. Well, also... It also talks about Probably. large webs, but he didn't talk about webs. Yeah. Well, the webs come later.
What what are the issues the kids are having? It's just a bunch of itchy kids with nightmares. Hey, let's let's read the uh bed bugs one and see what that is. I don't it's think it would be bed bugs because pesticides were used. Also, that is oh, not a bed bug. Oh wait, no. Pedics have developed a resistance to the majority of common pesticides and are therefore quite difficult to remove. Never mind. Oh. There's also well, report so that is not sometimes a bed late bug. onset rashes. Ah. Uh. Well, what about the nightmares? Yeah. What about bed If I don't think it would be the Dreamweaver either, because it doesn't say like, it doesn't. Am I just not coming through? No, I can hear you. No, you're. No, we can hear you. I said bed hag. Look into bed hag. Bed hag? Yeah. Because how do you get rid of bed people? I don't think they are. I don't think they are. Because of shortness of breath, I'll just have sleep paralysis. Yeah, no, I don't think it's that. No. Because yeah, it doesn't mention anything about itchiness. And it doesn't mention anything about nightmares. Uh, bed teeth talks Paper. about itchiness. Bed bugs talk about itchiness. And Dreamweaver. Shu gives up. The chat isn't being read. Well, I mean, I'm reading the chat. Again, Shu, Bright literally can't see chat. Yeah, I literally can't see it. Because Bright's an irresponsible streamer. I. My, char my phone was <laughs> fully charged at the beginning of stream. Oh my god. Why didn't. Why don't you have your charger near to your desk so you can charge it while using it? Because my plugs are being used up near my my desk. For my computer, because the computer uses way too many fucking plugs. You know you can plug the phone into the computer, right? I've actually done that, and my computer had issues with that. <sighs> like, it, it actually turned off. When I did that last time, I'm not gonna. I don't want to ruin stream. She was, she was now sleeping. This one's a anyway, lot harder. She, she what was said, How do you get... What was that, Darna? Uh, let's look at like uh, some of these. What was the she... Dorsha again? Dorsha. This... Just curious. That was like a if you get seeked. Oh yeah. No. That's not it. Um it has nothing okay. to do with sleeping. Like I Chew said, again. I think it's oh sorry, Hadja, you're saying something? Chu again had said, How do you get rid of bed teeth, bright? Get rid of bed teeth? Yeah. Like you looked at bed teeth for like a split second. To prevent the growth of bread teeth, bed sheets, and blankets should be washed regularly and inspected for rare, or if it's gross, infected covers should be scrubbed thoroughly and disposed of and or disposed entirely. He just talks about just spread. Uh, oh wait, they wash and scrub the bed sheets as much as freaking possible. Bed teeth is out. <laughs> okay, so it's either bed bugs. Oh wait, it's most likely bed bugs because. Wait. The Dream River doesn't talk about anything about itchiness. It has anxiety, but not itchiness. Adorno, you're breaking up. Yeah, Adorno, you're breaking up really bad. It also feeds on dreams. It doesn't say anything about nightmares. I mean, neither does bed bugs. Uh, again, Adorno, you're, you're cutting out really up. fucking bad. 
Oh. Are there any that that mention nightmares? No, I don't think so. Let's hear the recording again. Hey, yeah, Ball here. Um, I'm not sure what to do anymore. Uh, my kids can't sleep at night. I've been spraying about 50 different kinds of pesticides all over the place, washed and scrubbed all the bed sheets as much as frickin' possible, and every night it's the same story. Bunch of edgy kids with nightmares waking up at 4 a.m. and begging to sleep in Papa's bed. I'm fresh out of ideas. Bunch of itchy kids waking up with nightmares, begging to sleep in Papa's bed. Yeah, no, we've already had those. Yeah. <coughs> I don't think it could be. Mm. I mean, it could be a dream weaver because I'm not sure if anxiety will bring on itchiness yeah. or. It's probably it's probably the bed bugs, and so it doesn't say anything about. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about, about webs. Like nightmare success. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about webs. So probably bed bugs and the like nightmares. Um. Nightmares are possibly a side effect of them being, um, th right. they're possibly being something else, and then also. I was gonna say, look at, I was gonna say, look at bed hag wait, wait, wait. again, but. No, it's it's not bed hag. Yeah, because it. The, the bed hag, so, so the bed hag um, uh, does something completely different. Uh, the bed hag will like make will. Try to will will take uh like the breath out of the kids, um and also also the bed hag. They didn't they didn't they didn't mention hearing anything, uh, yeah. spe specific. I guess my main thing is thinking: what if itching, uh, itching here is not being like literal itching, but is like a turn of phrase. Oh. That's the itchy kids mm. with nightmares waking up mm. at 4 a.m. and begging to sleep. Here's mm. Bill sleeping creature doing all the snoring. Well, so possibly bed bugs. Uh. Or. Can we re read a little bit more about the Dreamweaver? Dreamweaver? Okay, Dream we'll go back right here. Read dreams into reality. Okay, that's different. Okay. This is not worth this much effort. Yeah, let's, let's just do bed bugs. Alright. Bed bugs it is. Head. Let's see if we're correct. Watch Pokemon say it was the Dreamweaver. You were correct. Okay. Oh, we were correct. It was bed bugs. Okay. The nightmares. So yeah, and I guess the nightmares first. was literally just there as a red herring. Great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Hopefully, this one's easier. Okay, something with heat. Wait a minute, didn't one of them say that, that they would Dream go after home. heaters? There's also uh, another one that, like, 
Yeah, they didn't say anything about like. Hmm. Was it the leprechaun? No, it's not that. No. They went after valuables. Oh yeah. Wait, long-term damage to heaters. Oh, can also cause. Okay. So it could be that. It could be leprechaun. But. Hmm. Metallic medical implants such as braces, crowns, or joint replacement. Oh, yeah, oh the, the child, wait! The child was saying that they were. Oh, the their teeth were hurting. hurting. That's right. What braces in the teeth? It's leprechaun. Okay. Crowns. That would be odd for a. Oh wait, no. This is like '90s. Were they? Were they still doing metal crowns in the 90s? Most likely. Possibly. On kids? Um, <clears throat> also... Yeah. Anyway, yeah, I think this is a leprechaun. Yeah, this is an easy leprechaun. Here, we'll help you get rid of your Irish person. You just received 75 calls from the British. <laughs> I have some pranksters that may be giving my wife and I a run for our money. <clears throat> Lately, my wife's clothes have started going missing, and at oh, night I keep hearing oh. this strange... Sound coming from outside. Oh, that's easy. Troll. I tried to scare the kids off by mm -hmm. keeping the porch lights on at night and putting out a neighborhood watch sign, but I, th I think they're on to my tricks. Do you have any advice you can send me? Yeah, you have a fucking troll. So, uh, is there a sound for troll? Yeah, play the troll sound. Whoopee cushion like. Yeah, but it's eh. Uh, uh, they they steal clothing, and you hear shrill sounds of air escaping in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. This is yeah. So yeah, it's troll. It's troll. I like how Did one that was supposedly uh, like. It took us the longest was one that wasn't even an anomaly. It was yeah, a fucking, fucking bug. It's just fucking bed bugs, which were represented by something that was not a bed bug. Yeah. That seriously aggravates me. Unless bed, bed bugs, bugs work differently in this universe. You don't know that. If I remember correctly, bed bugs are arachnids. Ah. <coughs> Alright, let's see what we get next. Oh no, they are insects. Like, oh. They don't look like that. I saw your commercial and I thought I would call just in case you might know what's going on. I was recently putting on my kettle for a bit of afternoon Earl Grey when I heard this awful buzzing sound coming from the cupboard. Oh, I, I know looked what it around is. inside, but I couldn't find anything but a few loose tea leaves. I'm quite concerned about the hornets and the bees and the like because I'm I'm quite allergic to their stings, you know. So I just wanted to know if there's anything I should be worried about right now. My hearing isn't what it used to be, after all. <laughs> the fucking Please high hold. school tier, like high school tier drama class level acting. <laughs> Yeah, the second I, s I heard him talk about Earl Grey and tea leaves and buzzing sound, I immediately know it's a tea sprite. Yeah, it's probably a tea sprite because it left the, like, tea leaves. Because yeah. they leave tea leaves uh, after consuming. I'm still annoyed. You know, the longest ones we we've worked on, 
weren't even anomalies, but just regular fucking item things. Well, be because the anomalies are more easily easy to like recognize. Mm. Yeah, easier to focus on, and there was a straight up red herring. Yeah. Uh oh, we're about to lose everything. So yeah, I hope everyone true. remembers. My memory is bad. <laughs> Hi, we need some medical help. I'm not exactly sure what to say since I talked to our family practitioner already, but he said to call here, so we've been um, having some trouble sleeping. I thought it was just me, but both my husband and I started feeling shortness of breath around the same time. Oh. I'm worried about something that spreading head. through our house yeah. since our kids all have asthma and some particularly severe allergies. Oh, asthma too, so yeah, it's tried definitely washing not. washing all the bed sheets in the house, but that didn't really help much. Thankfully, the kids haven't had any issues yet, so could you help us out sooner rather than later? Okay, okay. so some creepy-ass <laughs> hag is living under your beds. Wait a minute, we still have our... Oh, wait, there it goes. I was going to say we still had everything. Yeah, this is bed hag, 100%. Well, also, it's a network error. So, like, anything that you already had, uh, like, when you when you were connected will stay up until you, like, change uh, the, like, thing. Right doesn't like, know have, how networks work. Shut like, up. Like, have, have you ever, like, been on, been on a website before the... Before the uh, before your like Wi-Fi cuts out or something. Maybe. So uh, I've been hearing this weird sound coming from the walls. Not exactly sure what it is, but I've been having a hard time sleeping at night because of this sound. Oh no. Can you hear that? It's been oh, oh no. I know what that is. I oh no. She's gonna have to leave the house. Leave the house or you're gonna die. Please hold. Oh, we got everything back. Why did, why did you immediately click on bed box? I just clicked <laughs> random you... shit. Anyway, yeah, the, it's... The fungi, yeah. Yeah, that even matches what they sh played. Yeah, you might want to leave or you're gonna die. That's just why are you yelling at me? Because this is like, I want lovin's, I want your attention. Who's a big dumbass? Do you have a fungal unicorn? Meatball's dead. What? Oh, that's right. Puka. Oh Meatball. yeah, the puka. Meatball's fucking dead. Yeah, I forgot about the puka. Well, go, go read. Don't. <coughs> but yeah, the this is so right. <laughs> Sorry. A foul smell that signifies decay and discarded body should be found and removed immediately. Which means their dog is dead. Meatball's dead. P poor Meatball. Dropkick Puka. Use shotgun on Puka. Do an old yeller.
Festus, do you have any commentary for the chat? He does not. Yeah, the first time I watched Old Yeller, I thought it was going to be a, a happy, cheerful dog movie. Then I watched it. I still never watched it. Wait, you, you've, 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 wait, so, Bright, you didn't hear what, okay. What happened to Old Yeller? <laughs> Do you actually want to know, Hatchet? I'm... Oh, you already know. It's so coastally disused. Ah. Uh. You literally just brought it up while talking about shooting a dog with a shotgun. Oh. Here's the sound hatchet. That's normal. Yeah. I thought they said they weren't gonna call me again. A hundred percent! We didn't fail once. I knew Flipper was okay. My man. <laughs> oh my god. Entry browser? Go to mailbox first. Yeah. There's a hole in the... There's a hole in the home screen. We are happy to report that you're most displeased with your labors and are currently making all the necessary preparations for your impending dis dissension. Assuming you pass the trial. The soil is fertile. Keep up the great work and thanks for working through the weekend. Um. The glamour stone. Wham glam. Thank you, ma'am. This is your code. high act. Your high accuracy. Oh, now I see the hole. <laughs> All right, go to entry browser. No entry selected. Oh. Oh, so this just makes it so we can go back and read these. Uh, these still that's actually kind of cool. Book says, yep, and now you're in the trial. Let's see if we pass the trial. Probably not, because we're too, cause I'm too fucking stupid. Well, well, luck, luck, well, luckily there's two people uh, who are right, says help you memorize smart. everything. Oh, so we can't use those. Oh, okay. what the fuck? The trial has begun. Well, we got the name, but we can't look at anything. Mm -hmm. We are many, we are above, we are followers of our queen, what are we? Bees. Oh, bees. right, bees. I was confused at first. Yeah, these are just riddles, apparently. It was successfully sent to client. Good job. Showcase thy knowledge. Yep, try and solve all of them. Good luck. Grumpy old troll. Oh my god. Who's a Festus? We can do this. I have no idea what time it is. It is 103 for me, so 303 for you. Oh shit, I didn't realize it was that late. I am not living, yet I clatter. I am small, I am weak, I serve my purpose, then I die. What am I? Not living, not yeah, living. Then I clatter. Okay, let's look through all of them. Wait. Please hold. 
<laughs> Maybe animation? Oh yeah, that could work. Is the animation alive? No. No, well, no, because yeah, it's, it's like a doll or something like that. Oh, right. Hmm. Okay, so let's look through them all. Don't see anything else that would fit Okay, that. Please, please go slower. Sorry. You know, you can just, like, click on the up and down. Well, if I do that, it, it just jumps. Wow. Oh. Yeah, that's why I was going slowly with my mouse. Well, okay. Okay, can can you, like, click on one of them and then, like, uh, use the arrows on your keyboard to, like, move down? No. Okay. Let's... I literally think the only thing that it could be would be animation. We, we oh should, wait, we should... false artifact too. I'm not. They don't really clatter though. True. I'm small. Um... I am weak. Also, yet yeah, also false artifacts. I wouldn't wouldn't necessarily say are would be small because they can probably be different sizes depending on what mm. they're mimicking. I'm pretty sure they're supposed to generally remain pretty small. Like small household objects. But... <laughs> I literally think it's the only thing it could be is animation. Are we, like, when, at first, when I was, like, listening to it, I thought, I was like, oh, possibly reanimation, but then I was like, eh, that was... Yeah, that I can't think work. of anything else. Yeah, I'll probably just go with animation. Yeah. That's oh, animation. it's right here anyways. <laughs> yeah, because it's the first one. It's almost <laughs> as if that's how alphabetical order works. It fell successfully sent to client. Good job. Forge ahead. I think we got it correct. We you you won't I, be able to know. Oh, there's no I way. It's going. Oh, that's until the end. I am the beggar. I am the encroacher of the dry. I am the friend to the water of the sky. What am I? Oh, okay. I know what it is. Please, oh. Um, it's the uh rain. What is it called? The Wayne Wisp or whatever. Well, don't just immediately pick it, right? You rain, rain nymph is what you're talking about. Rain nymph, yes, because uh, because they want you to let them inside, and yeah, and they are yeah. And bring forth floods which requires rain. Mm -hmm. I can't think of anything else. What do you think, Hutch? I guess. You hear those sounds? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Press on and play. I want to play oh, Lego <laughs> Star Wars. What was that, Hatchet? But I want to play Lego Star Wars. Ah. Uh. Are we getting deeper into the ground? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's called the Descent. Mm -hmm. We're going into hell. When, no, that's not what's happening. I am the harbinger of death. I am the bringer of pestilence. I am forever the nuisance. What am I? Please Har hold. Harbinger of death. Harbinger of death. <laughs> okay. Mice? No. Because didn't it like Wait, in one of the videos that talk about bringing the black death? Yeah. 
even though that'd be rats. Yeah, even though that'd be wrong, but, but still. <laughs> Mouse equals harbinger of death. How does that make you feel, Chu? At least I it think might she would be happy about that a little bit. Probably. Probably. Is that what we're thinking? Well, trying to think of other things. At first, I was th at first I was thinking possibly the like. Uh... Wait, let me see. Is there other ones that are, like more deadly? What are you thinking, Adirna? Oh yeah, no, he doesn't bleed. Juice <clears throat> is sleeping and wrapped in blanket. I guess we can go. I guess we can go among us. Though the, that's not. Though that's not. <sighs> it yeah, feels weird to me, though. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Well, I can I also see them as being a nuisance because they destroy things and get oh, your yeah. food. I I feel like oh, mice. Wait. Mice is wait. What? What are you gonna say, Adorno? Uh. Are cockroach? Oh yeah, cockroaches are there. Not... Oh, oh yeah, cockroaches can actually cool. be better because they can also spread disease. A lot better than mice, I think. That's debatable, but they both fit the bill pretty well. <laughs> Which one? Forever the nuisance. Mm -hmm. I feel like cockroaches are more stereotypically hard to deal with, so maybe forever the nuisance. Leans towards cockroaches. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's go with cockroaches. Now watch it actually be mice. That would be that would be hilarious. Three, two, one. Send it. Rejoice. Oh my God. Hmm. I like dirt. <laughs> book says nope. So we got it wrong, book. What was the answer? <coughs> the secret the remains thing. of those who have who have too much. Step within, and they lose their way. What am I? I the oh, okay. Of those who have too much. Okay, I see. I, I know exactly which one this one is. This is the labyrinth. Oh, please. Oh. oh, it was the house fly. House Are fly? You... Oh, that makes sense. This is the labyrinth one. But yeah, this because... is the labyrinth one. Yeah. That's like, I just think we remember it talking about how, like, these show up and. Primarily in houses that have a shit ton of space. Yeah. Well, they they show up in rich people's houses specifically. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, 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 I. Expand thy mind. <laughs> Do oh, we this have is to have normal. 100 percent or just the good majority? Pro probably I'm a good majority. Just a, I'm guessing just the majority. Uh. We can probably pass this with C grades. Alright, here we go. We are companions of the gardens. We compel those who tread to tread no longer. What are we? Companion, companions of the gardens compel those who tread to tread no longer. What are we? Hmm. Was there anything about okay? There's Do we have seedling. like a? It could be it could be seedling. Um, it could be us, Prickin. 
Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It could be a spriggan. There's a false house plant. Mm -hmm. I was think I was also thinking, could uh gnomes be a part of this anyway? Or is there like just a regular gnome? Nah, I don't no, think so. I don't think so. Okay. Where's the false plant? I don't think it's false plants. Oh, false, false flower. False. Yeah, I don't think it's false flower. You don't think it's false flower? No, because well, false flower is the one that uh, sings. Um, it's the singing one. Yeah. I don't think it's false flower. And the spriggan gets angry um, when you fuck with the vegetation. I mean, I'm pretty sure the seedlings do that too. Seedlings? Yeah, they do. Well, they're more like territorial. Like you don't pick yeah. up the weeds they're eating, or they get, or they attack. Yeah, they're companions of the garden. Companions of the gardens. Actually, that makes more sense because yeah, that is, that does make sense. Yeah, that makes more sense than Spriggan, actually. Well, yeah, they both make sense, but like, uh, yeah, I guess. Because they take care of the weeds still... of the garden. I think, yeah. Let's go seedling. Seedling? Got it. I swear, if it's false flower. It's not gonna be false. It's, I don't think it's gonna be false flower. Good job. Let had, go had, thy stilted soul. It had, it had nothing about, what, like, singing or anything. Yeah, and the housefly had nothing about eating shit, but it was still the housefly. <laughs> it was seedling. Okay. Okay. That's good. I am the dancer. I am the bringer of destruction. I consume the weak and the reckless. I am the forsaken oil and the careless light. What am I? Please, <laughs> Dancer, bringer of destruction. Consume the weak and reckless. Forsaken oil and careless light. Okay. Weak and reckless. Are there... Are there, uh... Oh yeah, which ones, uh... Wait, what's the house spider one? No, house fire. Oh, house fire. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, that makes sense. I am the dancer. I am the harbinger of destruction. I consume yeah, the no. weak and yeah. reckless. I am yeah, the force in peaceless light. I think fire. Yeah, house yeah, fire how... makes sense. But book says, OMG, this one is mean. Is it? Are we actually not getting close to what it is? I'm. I'm. What? What could I know? Do we want to go with house fires? I don't. I don't know. Okay. I was. I was gonna ask if there was like one. Yeah, it's house fire. Okay. I guess thanks for confirming before we even press submit book. Oh, then, then that's the answer. That book says, yeah, it's house fire. Submit. If was successfully sent, client, good job. People refer to blame. How many levels are there? As many probably, as... Probably at least ten. The harbinger of destruction. I am the seeker. I am the one who delivers. What am I? Oh, I know what this one is. Please hold. Which one do you think it is? The Dorsha. Remember? 
it was saying I was always the one oh, who yeah. seeks, and it delivers a, a, a thing to the person it seeks. It's Dorsha. Well, it de it pretty much delivers. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it delivers death. Yeah. Book says this is the last last riddle. Sorry, I meant that because I felt it was very abstract, but y'all had it. Ah. Uh. Oh yeah. I mean, that's the thing, it was pretty abstract, but it was very akin to pretty common, uh, riddles surrounding fire. Yeah, also, this is the easiest one, because in Dorsha's description, it talked about delivering and being a seeker. Uh, anyway, right, stop clicking stuff. Please serve, please serve bedtime, night all. Have a good yeah. night, Chu. Yeah, see you, Chu. Night, Chu. Pokemon said that was the last one, right? Right. Yeah, this probably. Is the last one. Well, you. This. What did you say, Darna? Stop. Cooking. I said stop. Cooking. Oh. Answer. Hello. Super I don't like her eyes. We've been watching you closely. Oh. Uh. I don't like this. Hmm. She has really bad bed head. Oh my god, Hatchet. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, <gasps> we're touching grass! Who the fuck are you? It's her. Please, be not afraid. Come close. Being crowned by Forest Lady. Congratulations! All hail our new Junior Supervisor! <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? sure they had a lot of fun creating that in the park. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's the end. Complete the game.